and I fixed my microphone. Okay, let's see. Today we're playing Clan Generator. Let me get it up on my thing. Okay, and real quick, I'm just going to check my own stream to see if my volume's good. Okay, give me a sec. Great, it works. Okay, perfect. Now we can start. Now that that issue has been taken care of. Let's do clan generator today. So I have an idea what I'm going to do. I thought it'd be really funny because at my work, I came up with, uh, you know, how everyone's names, middle names and last names have meanings. Well, I thought I'd give all my coworkers their own warrior cat names. And we did name that clan. However, I cannot use that name as I have a different clan already on here named that and it would be confusing for me. So because of that, I'm going to name it Piper Clan. Now, here's some of the settings I have on here. Just because I think it'd be funny. I have allow mass extinction events. Allow leaders to automatically choose new deputy. Allow dead cats to fade away. Allow warriors and elders to become mediators. I am allowing mild war and blood and patrol artwork. And also for the relationship, I'm allowing everything. <laughs> okay. So, let's do this. Continue. No, wait, no. New clan. That's what I'm doing. I would do Cruel Season, but that's not out yet. So, Expanded Mode. And let's name our clan the Piper Clan. Okay, let's see. I have to... I'm going to change the names of these cats, too. Obviously. The names we came up with. Let me get my notes so I can see. Where is it? Sorry, I'm trying to find it right now on my notes app. It's on here somewhere, just took out a lot of notes. There it is, I found it. Okay, so we can only let nine cats in right now. And I do have some names already I'm going to do. I just need to figure out who's who. But first of all, the leader. I think I'll make a random cat the leader at first. So, let's see. Leader, leader, leader. Who's going to be our leader? I do know that for our clan, we did pick, uh, we couldn't decide on who should be the leader, so we picked a random name. So that was Featherstar. But since this is going to be Piper Clan, we should probably do Pipe Star or something like that. So let's see. Why do we only have one elder here? <laughs> who should be Piper? You're Piper Star. Okay, grant this cat their nine lives. Now, let's see. I'm going to need to pick the deputy. So, the deputy I know we did was Wind Garden. And Wind Garden was female, so... Why are there so many males? I mean, I guess I could make them trans. 
Okay. Well, I guess Wind Garden might not be in this, because I doubt my mom would like her name being like a male cat. So, you know what? I do have a cat I could use for this. Where's a... Let's see. We're gonna do this one. Dazzlefur, he's gonna be Flare Stone now. Now, the Medicine Cat, I do know, and I will have to change their gender here because I know they did want to be a dark cat, and this is actually the breed of cat they chose. So, this cat will aid the clan, and I'll make them female. But, they're gonna be Dark Trail. Okay. Now, let's see. Who am I gonna make Honor with? Either... Yeah, you're gonna be Honor with... You're going to be Dark Chase. And now I have to figure out for my notes who the rest is going to be. Let's see. Other ones I have. I could put myself in it, my name, but there's not really... Oh. I can do one, let's see. Okay, there's there's a female. You're gonna be Bright Gleam. Let's see. I do know I need a male apprentice for honor with, so you're gonna be Dust Paw. Okay, Evening Ass. Who's gonna be Evening Ass? Hmm. Hard decisions here, people. Evening ass is a male. I'm just trying to decide because none of these pelt covers are really giving me an evening ass kind of name. I mean, they could come in later with, like, kits or, like, uh, robes we find and take in. So, I guess I'll just put me in. And this is going to be the closest to my cat's design, so I'll just make them female, I guess. And they're going to be light soul. Now I gotta decide between, because I can only pick two more, I know. So, this is why I usually like when there's more than one elder, because then I feel bad getting rid of the young cats. But I do know that there are some others I can choose from. It's just a hard decision. Okay, so sea strength then, and the other one's going to be, so I'm choosing the two adult ones, I think, and they're going to be sea strength, and what was that other name I had on here? 
Well, let me check C string first. Cold confident. C strength. Oh, and Y C was the other one. I'll make you Y C actually. Okay. Now, I think we should live on a shipwreck. <laughs> Let's do this. And done. Now we need to change all of their names. So you're going to be Pipe Star. Personal change name. Pipe Star. And you're going to be Flare Stone. Okay, now let's see if I can remember what I did. I think I did your YC, and you're actually supposed to be female, so let me change that. Change the trans female. Change name. Okay, YC. She's going to be Dustpaw. Oh, you're trans female? I'm so sorry, Dustpaw. Well, you know what? I never actually did find out Dustpaw's actual gender. So, you know what? I'll keep her trans female. Sure. Because Dustpaw isn't actually based off of anybody. I just thought it'd be funny to give Honor Wish an apprentice. Because I asked if he wanted one. And then, let me see. Who did I say was going to be on our list again? Oh, yeah, real quick, I do got to change you. Personal, trans, trans female, okay. What's that? Oh. There it is, okay. And then change name. Dark Trail. Okay. Now, who is next? You're female, right? Okay, then I think you're going to be Bright Gleam. You know, this actually makes sense if you knew who this is based off of. Not the first part, except it makes sense for him story-wise on how he wanted his character to be. But the second part makes, makes uh... I can't speak words. Second part makes sense if you know them in real life. I will not be giving any actual names here.
U Tiger's in the cool name, but there's his dark chase. Let's see. Oh yeah, this one's supposed to be me. You know, we probably don't have enough. Nah, yeah, I'll change it to what I actually am. Okay. Light. Soul. Who's next? Oh yeah, those two. So one of them has to be C strength. And then what was that other one I did? C strength and Yeah, good cla good question. Oh, one of them has to be honor wiz. Okay. Yes, you're honor wiz. Oh, that's actually funny. Honor always goes to the medicine cat to ask for spiritual advice. <laughs> uh, if uh, the person that uh, the medicine cat is based off of watches this video, which they might, that they're going to laugh at that. <laughs> and then you're going to be C-strength then. Okay. And now I just gotta fix Dust Paws mentor. Cause it should be Honor Wiz. Oh wait, I'm their mentor? <laughs> no, that cannot be right. You need Okay. Let's see. Change mentor. So I'm sorry. I would like an apprentice, however, Dust Paw belongs exclusively to Honor Wiz. Good luck, Honor Wiz. Apparently, Dust Paw is troublesome. What's my character? Oh, sneaky and smart. Cool. I can only ever be sneaky when it's unintentional, but I'm good at it when it's unintentional. <laughs> Scared one of my coworkers today, and I wasn't trying to. <laughs> okay, now that this is all set up here, I'll read what it says. Uh, well, actually, if I read what it says, it won't make sense because I still got old names. So I'll probably do a patrol. Oh wait, real quick, can I do something? Because in our thing, I'm supposed to be a mediator, so. Yeah, I'm supposed to be a mediator, actually. Light Soul is a mediator. Meteors are not typically required to hunt or fight for the clan. Rather, mediators are charged with handling disagreements between clanmates and disputes between clans. Some mediators train as apprentices to serve their clan, while others may choose to become mediators later in life. Yeah, because that's what we decided when we made this thing. I'm also just going to check everyone's ages real quick. 
So Pipe Stars 101 Moons. Wait, yeah. Pipe Stars 101 Moons. He's a male. Uh, he's got nine lives still. He's the leader. Charismatic, excellent speaker. Flare Stone. Uh, a male. He's 89 moons. The deputy fears in a fantastic hunter. Dark Trail. A trans female medicine cat. Uh, he's thoughtful, smart, and is 26 moons. Light Soul. Trans female, mediator, 74 moons. Sneaky, smart. Yeah. Bright Gleam. Female. 74 moons. Charismatic, fantastic hunter. That's funny because they said that they wanted to be mainly a hunter in the clan. Honor Wiss. Male, 59 moons. Faithful, great speaker, warrior. Sea Strength. Trans female, 58 moons. Warrior, confident, great hunter. Dark Chase. Male, 50 moons. Warrior, cold, good teacher. Dustpaw. Trans female. Nine moons. Troublesome. But their mentor is Honorless. Why is he? Trans female. Senior. 143 moons. Elder. Careful. Fantastic teacher. Oh. Well, mine used to be below Clover, I think. So they're wondering how I'm doing. Cool. Anyway, let's go on a patrol. We'll do the medicine cat. Herb gathering. The betony plants stretch outwards, racing to take advantage of the new leaf sun. Proceed. Hang on. Has Dark Trail identified the betony correctly? They're not sure, and not willing to risk it. Better to be safe than sorry. So we didn't collect anything, that means. Dust pot honor was. Let's uh train. Honor was thinks this might be a good chance to practice teamwork with Dust Paw. Both cats have a nice practice session and their coordination with each other grows stronger. Honor was really helps Dust Paw gain confidence working with other cats. Real quick, I will mention that I only wanted to start with the cats name these things. And like I'll mess with names and stuff, and I was only messing with genders at first. For the first cats, however, if they themselves change their gender by themselves in the generator, I will allow that and allow them to keep it, just because I think that will be really funny. Okay, let's... Random patrol type. As the patrol spreads out to hunt, Bright Gleam admits that they think they had a vision from Star Clan last night. No one can make sense of the vision. So we didn't get much done. I want to check something with Honor Wiz. Hmm. No, because uh, for Honor Wiz, he was supposed to be really a lore keeper, but they don't have that role. So he'll just have to do with being a warrior for now. Save. And the events. Nothing interesting happened this moon. Relationships. Flarestone comes up with the plan to sneak out of camp with Dark Trail. Medium positive effect. Flarestone thinks sea strength is very helpful. Low positive effect. Sea strength wishes they could get their pelt to shine like pipe stars. Low negative effect. Sea strength can't stand bright gleam snoring in their nest. <laughs> negative effect. Dustpaw is wowed by how bravely YC fought the other day. High positive effect. Pipe star asks, asks Flarestone how they're doing. Low positive effect. Light Soul is stuttering while speaking to Bright Gleam. Neutral effect. 
Why am I stuttering while speaking to them? Bright Gleam admires how brave Light Soul is. Medium positive effect. Bright Gleam helps Dust Paw pick burrs out of their fur. Medium positive effect. YC thinks they can tell Dust Paw something important. High positive effect. They're a kid. Dark Trail of Pris. I can't speak today. Okay. Maybe now after my drink I can speak properly. Dark Trail appreciates Dustpaw telling them they had a feather stuck on their face. How did you not notice that, Dark Trail? <laughs> Dark Trail, really? I can't believe it. Honor Wisp thinks YC is very helpful. Low positive effect. Sea strength is building up Dark Chase confidence. Medium positive effect. Dark Chase is giving Dark Tail a task. Neutral effect. Okay. Cat list. Let's see how everyone's doing. Pipe stars eavesdropping on Dark Chase. Good choice. I haven't said why yet, but you'll find out. Flare Stone is <laughs> eavesdropping on Dark Trail. Okay. Also, slightly good choice. I won't tell you why. Dark Trail is recruiting, is reciting the names of herbs aloud. Light Soul wonders if being a warrior would have been more fun. Don't worry about it. We're fine, Light Soul. We're fine being a mediator. Bright Gleam tries to set a good example for the younger cats. You mean the one dust paw in the clan? Honor Wish wants to get to know Sea Strength better. Oh yeah, it'll also be really funny because I'm not going to pick anyone's mates or who they have kids with. I think it'll be really funny to just leave it up to them and the generator. If it happens, it happens. Okay, Honor Wish wants to know Sea Strength better. Sea Strength is having a good day. Dark Chase tries to set a good example for younger cats. Can I see something? No. Personal. Roles. License. No, I can't do what I want to do with them. Oh well. Dustpaw wonders how Bright Gleam is doing. YC is requesting an apprentice help with their picks, so just Dustpaw! <laughs> the only clan apprentice. Let's see. Oh yeah, so there is a relationship tab for those that don't play this game. So we'll see. This is Pipe Star's relationship with everyone in the clan. So they really dislike YC for some reason. <laughs> they platonically like uh, Honor Wiz. But really I'm just going to go and look for if anyone has any romantic attraction on their own so far. But again, I'm not picking mates for people. They have to do that themselves. Now we're on Flare Stone. Do you like anybody? Well, you like some people platonically, but that's about it. Dark Trail? Do you like anyone Dark Trail? Nope. It'd be funny though if the answer was yes. Light Soul? Nope. This is weird, because normally when I play this game, there's already a set thing where like they're like, Oh yeah, this cat already kind of likes this cat, but this time it looks like nobody likes anybody romantically. Which is kind of good, because that'd be kind of awkward. It'd, it'd be funny, but awkward. Okay. So we're sending them out, training. Honor Wish takes them both out to see a big octopus. A patrol spotted in one of Piper Clan's rock pools. Proceed. Dustpaw refuses to believe that the octopus can fit into the tiny crevice that Honor Wish points out and starts an argument about it. <laughs> you hear that, Honor Wish? Dustpaw really wants to 
doesn't believe a word you say. You're the one that wanted an apprentice, dude. Okay. Dark Chase and Dark Trail. I'm going to send you on a herb gathering patrol. It was one of the worst storms of the season and left Dark Trail in unavoidably grumpy mood. Herbs strewn about, prey in hiding. It would take forever to find anything Dark Chase. Sorry, anything. Dark Chase attempts to find a way to cheer up the healer. Dark Chase splashes water from a puddle onto Dark Trail's fur. Dark Trail fluffs, fluffs up like a bottle thrust, turning around to quickly send a wave of water back towards Dark Chase. The two engage in a small water fight, and when they resume the herb patrol, Dark Chase is glad to see Dark Trail looking much happier. Blackberry and Mullen were gathered during this patrol. Now let's send them all out. I'm putting a lot of them together first. I'm not going to put anyone just with each other at first. Just because I don't want them all to die immediately. Go on patrol. Your patrol cautiously moves toward the sound of barking. Near the border, they spot a dog chasing something. Oh no, it's a cat. Oh no. Let's try to rescue. The patrol swiftly jumps into action. They capture the dog's attention and draw it away from the cat. Sea strength stays hidden and goes to the cat while the rest of the patrol lure the dog away. They're unharmed, and this display of bravery, bravery want, makes them want to join the clan. Yeah, we got a new member, Burdock Flicker. I'm definitely changing that name. Sorry. I don't really like it that much. Your clan's reputation towards outsiders has improved. I'm surprised we didn't die from that. Oh, that's... There they are. Okay, so they're male, 109 moons, warrior, strict, good hunter... You can check their history, too. Burdock Flicker used to live in a barn, but mostly stayed away from two legs. They decided clan life might be an interesting change of pace. Okay, let me look on my name thing. For a new name for them. No, Dashing Rabbit wouldn't work for this cat. I got it. They're gonna be moss sprees. No, wait, no, that doesn't make sense personality wise. Well, you're kinda old, so I'll make you broad eyes instead. No, wait, no, that's a medicine cat. You're gonna be watch eye. Okay, watch I. Save. Okay, so finally something happening. Pipestar calls the clan to a meeting and declares Dustpaw to be a warrior. They are now called Dust Sore and are celebrated for their support. So I will keep this name because I think it sounds kind of cool, first of all. Second of all, I never did come up with a warrior name for Dustpaw. He was just always an apprentice in the clan. So, uh, this works out. Blairstone is sharing tongues with Dustpaw. I thought positive effect. Blairstone reminds Dark Chase to grab something from the fresh kill pile if they haven't already. Medium positive effect. Sea Strength thinks about how Bright Gleam is always reliable. Medium positive effect. Dust Source shared an embarrassing story about Dark Chase. They were asked not to share a <laughs> low negative effect. You gotta be careful. You don't know who you're messing with. Sorry, I was getting more a thing to drink. Pipestar realized that they are too harsh in judgment of light soul. Medium positive effect. Hey, don't yell at me. <laughs> I'm just the mediator, guys. Pipestar thinks about how Sea strength is always reliable. Medium positive effect. Light soul stands tall when Bright Gleam walks by. Neutral effect. I guess me and Bright Gleam are just best friends. 
Bright Gleam is stuttering while speaking to Dark Chase. Neutral effect. YC has a mock battle mock battle with Dust Sword. That's gonna be hard for me to name say, but I'll keep a name. Medium positive effect. Dark Trail stands tall when Dark Chase walks by. Neutral effect. Honor Wisp thinks Pipe Star was nice to them today. Low positive effect. Dark Chase chats with Sea Strength while grabbing something to eat. Medium positive effect. Watch I had a huge agree argument with Light Soul. Well, yeah, I'm the mediator, guys. I can't take sides. Medium negative effect. Oh, yeah, I never clicked check Star Clan. So, this is uh, our, you know, pool bark, apparently. Hello, I'm here to guide the dead cats of Pipe Clan just into Star Clan. They're female. They're loyal and a fantastic teacher. Okay. And then this is where, like, wandering spirits go. And this is where the exiled cats go. So, like, if someone breaks the warrior code, we'll send them there. I'm like, wait, <laughs> give me one sec. Why are you still tiny? You're not even 12 moons, but you were already made an apprentice, um, but you already made a warrior? You're not 12 moons yet, you're still a child. Everyone, this child should not be a warrior yet. Well, at least you're not troublesome anymore, you're loving now. I'm just gonna see if anyone's relationships have changed. Well, it makes sense. Watch I doesn't know that many people yet. Nope, still nothing. Okay. Pipestar has been letting their deputy call the shots recently, and is proud of their initiative. Flarestone thinks they are going crazy. Dark Trail wants to get to know Sea Strength better. Light Soul mediated a meeting between the senior warriors and the leader over recent clan decisions. Watch Eye wants to be chosen as the new deputy. Watch Eye, you just got here. Bright Gleam is eavesdropping on Watch Eye. Honor Wisp thanks StarClan for their catch out on a hunting patrol today. Sea Strength is strutting around confidently. Dark Chase is craving the taste of mouse. Dust Shore is feeling gloomy. YC is recounting daring expeditions for the younger cats to hear. Okay. Dark Chase. Let's send Dark Chase and Honor Wisp on a patrol together. As the patrol passes along the sand between the waves and some rock pools, they find one of the oddest things any of them have ever seen. An octopus on land. It's clearly trying to head for the ocean. Let's proceed. Well, this octopus decided to cross at the wrong time. <laughs> Ruthlessly, Dark Chase dispatches it. Oh, wait, I sent the wrong two cats on patrol. <laughs> yep, that happened. Oh, well. They both have Dark in their name, okay? Dark Chase dispatches it, paws squishing through the very squishy squish. Dark Trail. I guess Dark Trail will just go alone. Dark Trail is on a mission to find Lungwort. Lungwort. Now that New Leaf is here, as the only reliable cure for Yellow Cough, they're determined that Piper Clan replenishes their stocks of it. Dark Trail searches until their paw pads are short and their muscles exhausted, but can't find Lungward anywhere. They return to camp disappointed, but determined to try again. Simply too important to keep to not keep a good supply of it. Dark Trail didn't gather anything, but they did get sore. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, let's send all these guys together. There are dark clouds on the horizon, and Pipestar wonders if they should continue. <laughs> oh no. This could be a clan ending event. Let's see. Uh, fantastic hunter, great hunter, great speaker, good hunter, excellent speaker. A lot of hunters. Charismatic, confident, loving, strict, fierce. Well, I don't want us to die this soon, so we decided to head back early. <coughs> Blairstone got their paw stuck in a two leg trap while they and while they eventually escaped their legs heavily injured. Dark trail is no longer sore. Blairstone helps Watch Eye pink pick burrs out of their fur. Blairstone is surprised by Honorwis being thoughtful. <laughs> sea Strength always thought Dark Trail had it all figured out, so they're this surprised when Dark Trail asks for help. Dustor saw Honorwis being considerate. Pipe Star is telling a joke is telling jokes about Watch Eye. Pipe Star, Light Soul and Honorwis had a nice talk while eating. Light Soul said something that rubbed Blairstone the wrong way. Bright Gleam thinks the prey Dark Chase is biting in on the other side of camp looks delicious. Bright Gleam had a disagreement with Honorwis over kits. We don't have kits, guys. None of the clan. We don't have any kits in this clan. Why is he quickly apologizes after bumping into Bright Gleam? They have a small laugh about it. Dark Trail saw pipes. Stars so off a skill they never thought they had. Sorry, I see Pipe Star and I keep thinking Piper because that's the clan name. Honor Wish is giving Sea Strength a task. Dark Chase stands tall when Watch Eye walks by. Watch Eye is spending a lot of time with Bright Gleam. Watch Eye reminds Dust Sword to grab something from the first kill pile if they haven't already. Okay. Pipestar is thinking about what to say at the gathering. Blairstone is eating some fresh kale. Yeah, they're in the medicine cat den right now. They're injured. Dark Trail realizes what an omen might mean. He had a vision, Dark Trail. Light Soul wants to get to know why she better. Oh, that's my dog. Give me a second. Okay, I'm back. Bright Gleam is wondering what Pipe Star is thinking. Honor Wish was recently caught humming to themselves. Sea Strength tries to set a good example for younger cats. So I think I will change Pipe Star's name to Mouse Star for another reason I won't name, just because it's getting hard for me to say Pipe Star without accidentally saying Piper Star. Dark Chase wonders why others snap back at them. Does Sora plans to visit the medicine cat then? See, now you're an adult. Why she is given the clan leader attitude. Let's see, there you are. I'm going to change your name. And you're going to be Mouse now. Dark Chase. No, wait, no. Dark Trail. That's the one in Honor Wiz. To Dark Trail's concern, their warrior escort is unusually quiet. When prompted on their troubles, Honor Wiz comments that they could not help but think of what legacy they would leave behind if Star Clan calls upon them. <laughs> Dark Trail attempts to soothe Honor Wiz's worries, but nothing seems to stick. Honor Wiz turns back towards the camp leaving Dark Trail alone to fruitlessly hunt the herds. Troll again. Send them all out. Watch I attempted to eat prey they just got. Uh, 
Watch out, are you, are you going to be sent to the bad place? They re Okay, they're good. They resist the temptation going on to make a couple of great catches to make sure the elders are fed. It's so like, dude, we saved your life. Don't go do this to us. Our clan is now four moons. So I think that's like four days. I don't know. Sea strength was dragged out into the ocean by the tide and inhaled a lot of water before managing to get out. They've been hacking ever since. Lightshell believes they're part of the new of uh, a new prophecy. Am I a part of the prophecy, guys? I wonder what my destiny is. Okay. Flarestone challenged YC to spar with them. Sea strength is giving honor with the task. Dust Shore and Light Soul heckled another clan at the gathering together. I don't know what heckled means. I'd have to look that up. Mouse Star swaps favorite prey with Bright Gleam. Mouse Star swaps favorite prey with Dark Taste as well, I guess. Light Soul had a disagreement with Dark Trail about s something or other. Bright Gleam asked Dark Trail how they're doing. Bright Gleam had a disagreement with Dark Trail about something or other. <laughs> really? You ask how they're doing, and then you have a disagreement with them. YC is really surprised that Dark Chase's life isn't as easy as they thought it was. YC had a disagreement with Sea Strength about something or other. Dark Trail saw Honor Wish the other day and did get it, day and did get a chance to meow hello. Okay. Is you j why did they need to tell me that Dark Trail just saw Honor Wish and said hello? <laughs> Honor Wish Talon is just sore to a spar with them. Dark Chase wants to spend more time with Honor Wish. Watch I ha had a difficult conversation with Dark Chase, and they now have a deeper understanding of each other. Also, if I go to the medicine thing. This is the medicine den, and I can see what's in here. So we have a bl one blackberry, one juniper, one poppy, one ragwort, one thyme, two betony, two moss, two molten, two tansy. And those are our herb stores right now. Dark trail smart, experienced, prepared. This cat can work. Okay, cat list. Mouse star. Spending a considerable amount of time grooming. Blairstone is unsure of what the rest of the clan thinks of them as deputy. Dark Trail is happy that they chose life as a medicine cat. Light Soul is spending a considerable amount of time grooming. Watch Eye tries to set a good example for younger cats. Bright Gleam is eavesdropping on Dust Sore. Honor Wish. Is pondering their warrior ancestors and the protections they grant the clan. I do think this is interesting because, like I said, he was supposed to be a lore keeper. So even the whole thing with the legacy when he was talking to Dark Trail on their verb gathering. <sighs> it's funny. To me, because I know the inside joke of it. Sea Strength is helping to escort the medicine cat to gather herbs. Dark Chase thinks they are going crazy. Yeah, I know. They might they might turn on the clan soon. Does does Shore wants to get to know his YC better? YC's feeling gro gloomy. How good are you guys? Okay, so if I did some of you on different patrols, you'd be fine, right? Well, first, I'm going to send you out. As they head out to gather cobwebs, Dark Trail thinks about the dream they had last night. Was it sent by Star Clan? Dark Trail can't make sense of, it, of the vision. Dark Chase, I'm going to send you off alone. Dark Chase comes across a thunderpath running along the store, shore. Oh no! 
Uh, sorry, Dark Chase. Dark Chase is hit by a monster, which is a car, and seems quite injured, but miraculously is still alive. Uh, they have a broken bone apparently now, but they didn't lose a leg, which would have been the worst case. Death and losing a leg would have been the worst case scenario for them. I was going to send Honorwiss and Flarestone together, but Flarestone's still in the Medicine Cat then. I'll send Bright Gleam and Honorwiss together. Bright Gleam approaches Honorwiss, asking them if they wouldn't mind showing Bright Gleam their hunting techniques and perhaps doing some training with them. Bright Gleam is a fantastic hunter, and Bright Gleam isn't shy about telling them so. They blush, but work through it, showing Bright Gleam how to use the scraps of old crow food from the fresh kill pile to track crabs and fish in the rock pools out of their hidey holes. Okay. Your patrol comes across a large rat. Your patrol catches the rat. More fresh kill. Nothing interesting happens this moon. Relationship. Flarestone apologized to YC for something or other. Sea Strength challenged Watchside to spar with them. Dust Swear helps Honor Wish pick birds out of their fur. Mount Star admires how brave Dust Swear is. I have trouble saying that name. Light Soul wishes they could get their pelt to sound like Honor Wishes. Light Soul had a spat with Dark Trail over a piece of prey on the fresh kill pile. Bright Gleam goes to YC to ask for their wisdom. YC thinks Mouse Star is being annoying. YC reminds Mouse Star to grab something from the fresh kill pile if they haven't already. Dark Trail wants to spend more time with Dark Chase. Honor Wish is, is surprised to hear Dust Sword express an ideal they can agree with. Dark Chase is letting YC share their troubles with them, hoping they'll feel better afterwards. Watch I meows congratulations to Dark Trail for a job well done. I do just want to check some stuff. Could normally at this point there's someone like someone. But again, I'm not matching any people. I just I'm curious. Okay, so apparently Watchai uh, has a bit of a crush on Bright Gleam, even though they're 113 moons, and Bright Gleam is only 79 moons. <laughs> That's a bit of a big age gap. Also, Bright Gleam has a very slight, very, very slight uh, attraction to Honor Wiss. But they also have a very, very slight attraction to watch at as well. Honor Wish also has a very, very small attraction to Bright Gleam, romantically. Yep, and that's all the attractions right now. Mouse Star is pondering recent dreams they have had, perhaps from Star Clan. Flarestone had a nightmare involving the rushing river nearby. Dark Trail wants to speak to Light Soul about something. Light Soul feels exhausted from their clan mates bickering. Watcha is sparring with some clan mates. Bright Gleam tries to set a good example for younger cats. Honor was his eavesdropping on Light Soul. What's so interesting about me, Honor was? Sea Strength is feeling unappreciated. Dark Chase, Dark Chase tries to set a good example for younger cats. Dustor wants to spend time alone today. Why is he complaining about thorns in their nest? Dark Trail. Honorwiss. Dark Trail goes out with the warrior escort, both for safety as they look to take advantage of the Green Lake Throne season, and for carrying capacity should they find anything. 
Surprisingly, Honorwiss actually starts up a conversation with them about the herbs they're looking for. Drug Trail launches into the usual spiel, but even more astonishingly, Honorwiss is actually interested, and it makes their heart feel lighter getting to share their knowledge and skills with someone who respects them. Marigold and Burdock were gathered during this patrol. Your patrol stumbles across a large dog wandering in the clan's territory. I'm so sorry, guys, but we're going in. Dustor selfishly throws themselves into the fight, and every time the dog tries to grab at their clanmates, they're there with claws, with claws, fur puffed out twice their normal size, with Dustor defending them. The patrol drives the dog off, yelling triumphantly. Man, Dustor really clearing the clan here. Laristone wakes up one leg less than they went to sleep with, and it's both upsetting and a relief. Their leg was so mangled and Flarestone in so much pain that this might be for the best, but it's still a loss. Oh yeah, now I remember, they got stuck in a two-leg trap. So, that's like a... Tr I like to think of it as, I don't know for sure, but I like to think of it as one of those bear traps that they got their legs stuck in. Or like a fox trap, something like that. Uh, poor Flarestone, the deputy, though, being a three-legged cat out here. Mouse Star is gone, please. Please don't send it to me. There seems to be an infection growing in Dark Chase's broken bone that cannot end well. Medicine Cat, Dark Trail, you need to do better. Flarestone made Honor wish laugh again and again. She strength is surprised to hear Bright Gleam express an ideal they can agree with. Dark Trail is being quite considerate with Sea Strength. Dustor is really surprised that Sea Strength's life isn't as easy as they thought it was. Mouse Star is stuttering while speaking to Honorwis. Light Soul is talking with Sea Strength. Bright Gleam is letting Dark, Trace, Dark Chase share their troubles with them, hoping they'll feel better afterwards. Why she thinks Sea Strength was nice to them today? Dark Trail complains about something Light Soul did. Honorwis finds a bit of fluff that reminds them of Bright Gleam and thinks about giving it to them. Dark Chase is talking with Sea Strength. Watch Eye thinks Mouse Star was nice to them today. Watch Eye caught, caught Dark Chase in a lie. Mouse Star is ca <laughs> Mouse Star is craving the taste of mouse, guys. Flarestone is eavesdropping on Bright Gleam. Dark Trail is feeling content. Light Soul is relieved they broke up an argument before it started. I, I'd be relieved too. Watch Eye is hoping Mouse Star notices their improvement. Bright Gleam is eavesdropping on Honor Wish. Honor Wish woke up on the wrong side of the nest. Sea Strength doesn't falter when challenged on their abilities, even though you're injured. Dark Chase wonders how Flarestone is doing. Dustor wakes up on the wrong side of the nest. Why is he snoring loudly in the nest? Is that why everyone woke up on the wrong side of the nest? As Dark Trail pads through Piper, yeah, Piper Clan's territory with their entourage. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Honor wishes their entourage. They feel a presence join them. Proceed. The connection wavers, and as quickly as the feeling of company appears, it vanishes. Like the wind. Flarestone spies a fat rabbit on the other side of pa Patriot Clan's border. Tempting opportunity to be sure, but it may not be wise to hunt on a different clan's territory. Hmm. Well, I don't think you should, just because your leader's right there. Normally, I would do yes. Actually, you know what? Let's make things interesting. Let's go for it. Let's start a war, guys. We're going to do a war. Flarestone leaps with leaps for the rabbit, making a swift kill just before a party clan patrol comes into view. The party cats bristle at the trespass, and a fight seems to be brewing. Thankfully, Mouse Star smooths things over with the other patrol, graciously gifting them to Rabbit. And as they part, 
ways without damaging the relationship between clans. Ooh, you're in trouble now, Flarestone. Relations with Partridge, Partridge, they had to pick a very hard clan name. Partridge clan have remained neutral. Groaning, Flarestone lies in the sunshine as one of their friends massages the stump of their missing leg. Which friend is that, guys? Who is canonically massaging their leg? They just don't understand how something that's not even there anymore can hurt so much. Sea strength lungs finally feel back to normal. Mouse star is free of fleas at last. The infection in Dark Chase's wounds has abated. Well, it's about time, Dark Trail, doing your job. What? Okay, never mind. Watch I was dragged out into the ocean by the tide and inhaled a lot of water before managing to get out. They've been hacking ever since. Job medicine cat is never done, I guess. Recent Mouse Star recently called a clan meeting but forgot what to say. Great leader, guys. This is our leader. Flarestone almost choked on their prey. Dark Trail is checking up on the warriors. Light Soul wants to solve a dispute with another clan. Yeah, guys, you're making it harder for me when you decide to hunt on another clan's territory. Watch out, he's blasting their tail furiously. Brickling wants to get to know Flarestone better. Honor was just spending a considerable amount of time grooming. Sea Strength wants to get to know Watch Eye better. Dark Chase is craving the taste of Mouse. Dustor wants to be chosen as the new deputy. YC is enjoying the warm sun in the camp clearing. Leaf Fall holds the last chances to stock up on herbs that will die off in Leaf Bear, and Dark Trail heads out to gather fresh marigolds for the stores before the plants wither and die off. Proceed. Dark Trail is distracted today, and it affects the work. Dark Trail is unsuccessful. You didn't gather a single herb on that trip. You just decided to go for a walk, Dark Trail? Okay. Her patrol sees the shadow of a school of fish in the river. Proceed. Brickley makes fishing look easy, giving out tips to any interested cats. Brickley being the master hunter of the clan. Piper clan does not have enough healthy medicine cats. Cats will be sick or hurt for longer and have a higher chance of dying. Dark Trail brought a litter of Five kids back to camp, but refused to talk about their origins. So the reason that we don't have enough healthy medicine cats is because Dark Trail is nursing five mystery kittens. Okay, then. Flarestone is giving Dark Trail a task. Sea Strength comes up with a plan to sneak out of camp with Dark Chase. Sea Strength mouths congratulations to Dustor for a job well done. Dust... Sore is really surprised that Watch Eye's life isn't as easy as they thought it was. Mouse Star has YC bump had YC bump into them and they didn't even apologize. Light Soul had a difficult conversation with Flarestone and they now have a deeper understanding of each other. Brightgleam bickered about something trivial with YC. YC recovered YC covered for Dark Trail on something minor. Was it that they were pregnant, apparently? Ugh. Dark Trail saw a rat kit the other day, but didn't get a chance to meow hello. I'm guessing rat kit is one of your kids, Dark Trail. Honor Wish had Dust Sore bump into them, and they didn't even apologize. Honor Wish wishes they could get their pelt design like Bell you guys kit oh I'm sorry that kit name has to change. I can't even pronounce that correctly. 
And also, Honor was <laughs> you're jealous of a little newborn kitten's fur. Dark Chase thinks they can tell she's doing something important. Dark Chase thinks the prey Sweet Kid is biting into on the other side of camp looks delicious. Sweet Kid is too young to even eat breast kill right now, okay? They're just nibbling on it, but they can't actually eat it. Watch Eye offers the groom a hard to reach place for Flare Stone, who thanks them earnestly. Watch Eye bickered about something trivial with Flare Stone. Watch Eye ensnares, ensnares Mousedar with a charming smile. I need to see this. Okay, here are the five kits. They're so tiny, guys. We got Rat Kit, Breathe Kit, Pool Kit, Sweet Kit, and Beluga Kit. <laughs> oh, I gotta look at Beluga Whale. I don't know if we'll, if we'll keep those names or not, but, uh, let me see. Yeah, so their parent, it, these are, not like, adopted kids, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so Dark Trail actually didn't give birth to these kids. However, they are her biological kids. This is because I did allow ca uh, cats of the same gender to, you know, be able to breed with each other. So, whew, that makes sense. But apparently, yeah, uh, they weren't pregnant, the other cat that they were with. So, Rat Kit was born in another clan, but chose to come to this clan to be with her other parent. So, they were born in another clan, apparently. And then they were like, we want to actually live with our other parent, even though we're baby kittens. So, Rat Kit, female, the short bird. And they're attention seeking. So they're basically half clan cats. They're half a uh, half Piper clan, half an unknown clan. Brave Kit. Male, short bird, and noisy. He's a noisy boy. Pool Kit. Female, long furred, and they're charming. Sweet Kit. Male, Longford, and they're daring. Beluga Kit. <laughs> Actually, now that I know how to pronounce that, I think I'll keep that name. Because it's kind of funny to say. Beluga Kit. Female, Swartford, attention seeking. Mouse Star has been letting their deputy call the socks recently, and they're proud of their initiative. Flarestone wonders how Light Soul is doing. Dark Trail is hoping Mouse Star notices their improvement. Light Soul wants to get to know Bright Gleam better. Watch Eye is grooming themselves and making sure every whisker is in place. Bright Gleam wishes they were still sleeping in their nest. Honor Wish wants to get to know Brave Kit better. Aw, Honor Wish, you want to spend time with the kitties? Sea Strength tries to set a good example for younger cats. Dark Trace tries to set a good example for young cats. Dustor is feeling content with the little things in life. YC wants to spend time alone today. Rat Kit snuggles up to the belly of Dark Trail. Brave Kit snuggles up to the belly of Dark Trail. Pool Kit snuggles up to the belly of Dark Trail. Sweet Kit snuggles up to the belly of Dark Trail. Beluga Kit snuggles up to the belly of Dark Trail. Troll. Everyone's going on herb gathering today. As Dark Trail pads through Piper Clan's territory with their entourage, they feel a presence with them. The scent of familiar pelt reaches Honorwish's nose. They know this cat. With a friendly purr, they turn to greet their long fr their friend from beyond the grave. The rest of Troll gives them some space. So someone that Honor Wish knew that was dead decided to be like, Hey Medicine Cat, can you show me to them? And Honor Wish is like, Friend! Friend from beyond the grave, hello! Piper Clan is still, there's not enough Medicine Cats because, you know, they're still taking care of their kids. Why she had a bad fall while we'll taking a walk through the territory and came back to the camp shore. Dark Chase's broken bone is healed. Some sort of pest got into the herb stores and completely destroyed them. 
The medicine cat will have to clean it out and start over now. Uh, that's very bad. I don't think I'm going to read some of these anymore. Because I'm getting kind of tired of doing that. Or trail. The cold of leaf bear might have killed off a lot of greenery, but Dark Trail knows that the dandelions are only playing dead. If they can get their paws on a plant, the roots will still hold fresh, milky white sap. Dark Trail can't say it's fun, swiping away snow to scrounge for the stems and roots of wilted dandelions below. But what matters currently is that it's possible. Dandelion was gathered during this patrol. Your patrol catches the scent of a fox, but is it red or gray? And is it worth a fight if they encounter it? We're proceeding. The trail leads to a gray fox, and sea strength makes sure it both hands over the prey it's, it's poached from Piper Clan's land and flees for the border, tail between its legs. And yelping, the small predator can't stand up to its patrol working together. Piper Clan still doesn't have enough medicine cats. Watch eyes recover from the water in their lungs. YC's soreness has abated, and Flarestone's phantom pain has abated. Dustor is telling Sea Strength how much they cherish them. Hmm. Sea Strength is mine, dark chase from afar. Why am I giving a kid a task? So says Light Soul is giving Pool Kid a task. Maybe I'm giving them a fake task because they're like, teach me how to be a warrior now. And I'm like, uh, go play with your siblings. That'll, that'll teach them. Oh, Dark Chasey's honor with stumble while hunting. I think it's cute. Dark Chase had to nip Beluga Kid on the rump because they were being naughty. Watch Eyes telling a story to Flarestone. Why are these kids sparring with each other? Aw, oh, the three siblings are getting along. They had a nice chat together. Well, he didn't. Well, three of that of the five. Mouse Star's eavesdropping on Honor List. Flarestone wants to get to know Mouse Star better. Dark Trail realizes what an omen might mean. Blood Soul is hoping YC will tell them a new story. Watch Eye tries to set a good example for young cats. Bright Gleam is rethinking their life choices. Honor List is in the medicine den. Sea Strength tries to set a good example for younger cats. Dark Chase tries to set a good example for younger cats. Dustor is purring gently. YC is thinking about how too many cats die young. Rat Kid is pretending old is pestering older cats to play with them. Brave Kid is a bit cross with Rat Kit. Pool Kit refuses to eat the herbs the medicine cat has given them for their tummy. But that's your mom. Well, one of your parents. Yeah, that's your mom. You gotta do what she says. You can't be grumpy with your mom. Sweet Kid is asking older cats how kids are born. <laughs> Good luck with that, Dark Trail. Beluga Kid wants to take a nap. <laughs> the normal kid in it. <laughs> As the medicine cat's patrol pads out of Piper Clan territory, Honor was tells Dark Trail about a dream they had last night and what this, the Star Clan vision could mean for Piper Clan. Because, you know... Every dream obviously has to be for Star Clan, guys. Can't be just a dream. They have an in depth conversation about Honor Wish's vision as they walk, and by the time they head back to camp, they have a pretty good idea of what they should do about the, with this information. Dandelion, Horsetail, and Lungwort are gathered during this patrol.
The patrol is the patrol going back to camp with a good haul of fish sees a pot of dolphins chattering at them. As Flarestone offers the dolphins some of their fishes, they accidentally slip and fall into the water. Both the patrol and dolphins seem to be laughing at them. The dolphins give some herbs for the good laugh they give them, it seems. Hey, don't make fun of Flarestone. He's only got three legs, guys. I like how I still don't have anyone watching, but it's fine. It's just a little awkward talking to myself for so long. Oh, okay, what did I just do? There we go. <sighs> Control again, these three. A rabbit bursts out from cover started by the patrol. Proceed. Patrol rallies almost instantly and manages to corner and catch the rabbit. There shouldn't be that many rabbits. We we live on a shipwreck. This is our home. The ship has sunk, guys. The ship has sunk. Sea strength has gotten a stomach ache. YC was trying to flip up their nest when they discovered that they were a victim of a prank. Fox dung. There's now a sharp thorn embedded in their paw. Dark trail slipped on some rocks and their leg was dislocated. Didn't you just heal from a broken bone? Sweet Cat woke up with a mild headache, but they got up and played with their litter mates anyways, trying to ignore the nagging pain. Don't do that, Sweet Cat. You gotta tell your mom. She's the medicine cat. She'll know what to do. Rat kid is bouncing around in excitement. Breathe kid is whimpering in their sleep. Pool kid is regretting eating the bug that they caught. Sweet kid is nervous for their apprentice ceremony. That's still three more moons away, sweet kid. Beluga kid is running like a whirlwind around the camp. <laughs> Maui Star recently called a clan meeting but forgot what to say again. Blair Stone is hoping for a break. He's a three-legged cat. He already got laughed at by his clanmates and the dolphins. He needs a break. Dark Trail made a mess of the herbs and is panicking. Yeah, he's in the man. He's in the medicine cat then, because he's injured and he accidentally made a mess of the herbs. Oh, Dark Trail, he's gonna be slightly mad at you. Light Soul wants to solve a dispute with another clan. Watch Eye goes to help a kit that stumbled over their paws. Which one? We get, there's five in this clan now. Bright Gleam tries to set a good example for the younger cats. Honor Wish wonders how Sea Strength is doing. Sea Strength begrudgingly allows kits to play with their tail. Dark Chase is feeling sassy today. Dustor is a bit cross with Brave Kit. YC is talking to themselves. Rec oh, I already read the kits. Your patrol encounters a sandy beach where a lot of two legs linger. Uh, yeah, I'm not losing anyone yet, especially since this is the main cast here. Do not proceed. Your patrol decides to hunt elsewhere. Like, look how ominous this picture looks. These these aren't regular humans. These are humans that came here to capture stray cats. It starts snowing soon after the patrol sets out, trying to bring back something nice for the fresh kill pile. You know what? We're proceeding! Storm descends suddenly and violent. Putting an end to any other thoughts but survival, the cats retreat into a sea cave and cuddle together, sharing what little warmth they have. Each cat takes turn on the most exposed side of the huddle, selfishly risking themselves. Yeah, the cats are sent on that patrol were Mouse Star, Watch Eye, and Dust Sword. Did 
The stump where Flairstone's leg used to be has become infected. Sea Strength is glad that their stomach aches is finally gone. Lightsilly's has gotten a running nose. Bright Gleam was seen touching noses with the loners. Scandalous. <laughs> Bright Gleam was seen touching noses with the loners. Scandalous, guys. Absolutely scandalous. How dare these outside clean relationships. Bright Gleam slipped on some rocks and they twisted their paw. <sighs> Why she small cut has healed up nicely. Watch I misstepped and slipped from a rock, spraining their paw. Sweet Kit feels relieved at their lack of pain in their head. Their headache seems to have finally gone away. That's good. Poor BB. Mouse Star is feeling sassy today. Blairstone wonders how wise she is doing. Dark Trail is feeling underappreciated. Light Soul is eavesdropping on YC. Watch Eye has to pretend to be a captured warrior for Brave Kids games. Guys, kids, please don't. I know you're here to visit your mom in the Medicine Cat Den, but this cat is actually in the Medicine Cat Den for a reason. They're injured. Bright Gleam tries to set a good example for younger cats. Honor always rolls their eyes at the kit, laughing about spirits not being real. Sea Strength wonders how Dark Chase is doing. Dark Chase is relaxing in camp. Does sort purrs all night so full of love for their fellow warriors. Okay. Why she is eating some fresh kill. Rat Kit is a bit cross with Cool Kit. Brave Kit is worried about Beluga Kit. Cool Kit is whining for milk. Sweet Kid is attempting to pass, uh, pounce on the tail of Flairstone. Guys, he's a three-legged cat. He's been through enough. He's your deputy, guys. Come on. Beluga Kit wishes other cats would stop babying them. There are dark clouds on the horizon, and Mouse Star wonders if they should continue. Should I go out on this patrol? No, not this one. I'm not ready to lose so many cats yet. The stump where Flare Stone's leg used to be has become infected. Sea Strength is glad that their stomach ache is finally gone. Light Soul has gotten a running nose. Didn't I already have a running nose? Did I get a different run type of running nose? Bright Gleam was seen touching no- I already read these. I'm going to do it again. Groaning, Flairstone lies in the sunshine as one of their friends massages the lump. They just don't understand there's something that's not even there to hurt so much. Sea Strength was climbing a tree and got a splinter from one of their branches. Dark Trail is just located joint as it popped back into place and is feeling much better. I'm going to check their relationships again and see. Okay, Mouse Star kind of likes Watch Eye a bit, a good bit, yeah. Flare Stone slightly likes Honor Wish. Dark Trail also slightly has a small crush on Honor Wish. Honor Wish is popular, I guess. I don't have any any romantic relationships with anyone. I don't see anyone in that light, apparently. Watch Eye also has a decently good amount of attraction towards Mouse Star, huh? But the, at the same time, they I mean, they are slightly more attracted to Mouse Star, but they also have a good amount for towards Bright Gleam as well. That they like Bright Gleam. Bright Gleam also slightly likes Honor Wish. But they have more of an attraction towards Watch Eye, apparently. Honor Wish slightly has an attraction with Bright Gleam, and also slightly has an attraction with Dark Trail. Slightly has an attraction with Dark Taste as well. Honor Wish being a player out here. 
Everybody loves Honor Wish, apparently. Oh, Sea Strength also uh, kind of likes Dark Chase. And Dark Chase kind of likes Honor Wish. Now Star is counting how many lives they have left. It's still nine, buddy. You never died. Clearstone is looking forward to today. Dark Trail is thinking about taking on a new apprentice. You never had an apprentice to begin with. Light Soul is hoping the clan can stay peaceful. <laughs> Me too, Light Soul. Me too. Watch is worried others are judging them. Bright Gleam is hoping Mouse Star notices their improvement. Honorwish wonders how Rack Kid is doing. Sea Strength is looking forward to today. Dark, Tra Dark Chase tries to set a good example for younger cats. Dust Sore somehow got roped up in watching Rack Kid for the day. Dark Troll is like, hey, uh, can you watch Rack Kid? And he's like, uh, what? And she's like, thank you, bye. <laughs> Why is he snoring loudly in their sleep? Rat Kid is pretending to be the clan leader, okay? You're stuck watching the cat that's pretending to currently be the leader, so they're trying to make you do what they say. Brave Kid is worried about Rat Kid for some reason. Oh, only one more moon to their apprentices. Pool Kid is rubbing up against the warrior's legs. <laughs> You're gonna make someone trip over you. Sweet Kid is hatching a plan to sneak out of camp, uh, to sneak out of camp and play. Your mom's not gonna be happy about that. Beluga Kid is hoping YC will tell them a new story. Piper Clan can never have enough cobwebs. Dark Trail instructs their team, leading them out for the search. Dark Trail mirths with laughter, watching Dark Chase parade around with, his, with such a big bundle of cobwebs that they keep colliding with things in their path and they can't see. The entire patrol is down in a wonderful hall, and it's very pleased the medicine cat uh, and they, as they lead them back to camp. All the little kitties. And the one over there planning to sneak out of the camp. Flarestone swears they've been cleaning it, but the wound has begun to fester like weak old prey. She strength's small cut is no longer bothering them. Mouse Star thinks about retiring. <laughs> You're the leader and you still have nine lives, but you want to retire? I mean, then Flarestone would be Flarestar, the three-legged leader that no one takes seriously. Light Soul's running nose is finally stopped, and Light Soul's got another running nose. I can never stop having running noses, apparently. And this is slightly a accurate because my allergies are acting up recently. I'm sorry, Dark Trail. You cured me, and then I immediately got another cold. I'm so sorry. There's just no helping me. Bright Gleam Sprain has healed. Watch I can move her. Without pain, the sprain must have healed. Ratpaw has reached the age of six moons as he's an apprentice with honor with as their mentor. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just drinking right now. Talking for so long kind of makes you thirsty. Okay, Ratpaw has reached the age of six moons, has been made an apprentice with Honor Wish as their mentor. Dark Trail is watching with pride as Brave Paw is named and given a Watch Eye to Apprentice Under. They know that Watch Eye was a good choice. But do you not feel the same about your other kids? Or. Pool Paw excitedly touches noses with their new mentor, Dark Chase, looking quite eager to start training. 
Sweet Paw has reached the age of six moons and so has been made in a print. Okay. Well, who's their mentor? <laughs> Is that all it says about Sweet Paw? Beluga Paw has reached the age of six moons and has been made an apprentice with Dust Sword as their mentor. I'm curious, who's Sweet Paw's mentor? Okay, so Sweet Paw's mentor is Sea Strength then. I like how it says I have one viewer, but I'm pretty sure it's just a bot. Mouse Star is having a good day. Flare Stone is curious about the other clans. Dark Trail realizes what an omen might mean. Let's see you can fresh kill. You know what I just realized about Flare Stone? Their mo like half of their time as deputy has literally just been spent in the medicine cat den being injured. I feel so bad for them. Because they're based off of my boss. <laughs> so that's that's why I chose them as the deputy this time. Yeah, I feel bad. They can't watch the stream now, but they're not going to anyway. Light Soul is eating some fresh kill. Watch Eyes eavesdropping on Dark Trail. Bright Gleam is... <laughs> I have never seen that before. Bright Gleam is this moon's heartthrob. What do you mean by that? Oh my god. Bright Gleam being a player out here. Honor Wish is growing fond of Sweet Kit. Well, aren't they Sweet Paw now? Also, your apprentice is Rat Paw, not Sweet Paw. <coughs> sea Strength is feeling underappreciated. Dark Chase thinks the leader should be harsher on Code Breakers. Well, don't worry, because even though the leader will be harsh, I will. I will exile them. Like, to the bad place when they die. Because the game doesn't do that automatically to Code Breakers for some reason. Dust Sword is hoping YC will tell them a new story. Rat Pop practices their hunting on a smooth rock they found. Brave Pop woke up on the wrong side of the nest. Pool Pop is trying to recruit other apprentices for a quick adventure, so your siblings basically. Sweet Paw wants to be taught an advanced hunting move. You just became an apprentice today. Calm down. Beluga Paw. I'm sorry, I like that name actually. It's grown on me. Beluga Paw won't stop making funny faces when their mentor's back is turned. Why she wants to get to know Sweet Paw better. So now that they're apprentice, they're, uh, Pers their one personality trait has changed. So now Rat Paw is playful. Brave Paw is strange. Pool Paw is adventurous. Sweet Paw is lonesome. And Beluga Paw is playful. Now, I'm going to just send all the mentors and apprentices on little training things. Watch I suggest this might be a good chance to practice teamwork with Brave Paw. Both cats have a nice practice session, and their coordination with each other grows stronger. Watch I really helps Brave Paw gain confidence working with other cats. Sweet Paw, Sea Strength. Sea Strength takes them both out to see a big octopus. A patrol spotted in one of Piper Clan's rock pools. Sea Strength tries to point out the hooked beak as the octopus lazily waves a tentacle ever so temptingly just under the surface of the water. Sweet Paw flinches backwards as the creature suddenly lunges after a little fish. Once he disappeared into the suddenly scary beak, the octopus goes back to swaying like harmless kelp. Beluga Paw is not acting like their usual self. Dust Sword uh, guides Beluga Paw to their favorite place and asks them softly, What's wrong? Beluga Paw whispers that they feel like a failure and that they're not doing good enough. Dust Sword gently tugs them closer and tells them that they're not just their failures. Failure hurts. That's true. 
but we can learn so much from them. All they can do is go out there and ensure that they won't make the same mistake twice. The Lukapa looks at Dustor with shiny eyes and cuddles even closer. Aw, that's so cute. It's your first day. You're doing fine. Okay, now pull paw on Dark Chase. Dark Chase sense this might be a good chance to practice new hunting techniques with pull paw. Dark Chase takes charge and coordinates exercises for the duo. They practice taking down prey together. Their confidence in their team hunting grow rolling. The warrior praises how quickly Pool Paw picks it up, and the apprentice comes back to camp fluffed up with pride. Rat Paw and Honor Wiz. Honor Wiz suggests this might be a good chance to practice new fighting techniques with Rat Paw. Both cats have a nice practice session, swapping their best tips and tricks with each other. Worried about their stores of burdock and anticipating the plant's new leaf growth, Dark Trail heads out to replenish the clan's stocks. Luck is on Dark Trail's side today. The burdock is both plentiful and easy to find. Laying the fat roots out in a towering but neat pile in the herb stores makes Dark Trail's entire body thrum with a contented purr. Burdock was gathered during this patrol. So I guess Bright Gleam and Mouse Star are going on patrol alone together. Oh, there's a baby kitty! Bright Gleam finds an abandoned kid whose parents are nowhere to be seen. The kid is rushed back to camp, but grows weak and dies. No! It grows weak and dies a few days later? No, I was so excited to have a new baby in the clan! That's so upsetting. I've never seen that before. Well, we you did everything you could to save them, Bright Gleam. I'm proud of you. YC has gotten a running nose. Join the club, YC. I've had a running nose since forever. Brave Paw is not acting like their usual self. Watch Eye decides to ask Brave Paw if there's something they can help them with, or if they want to talk about it. Unfortunately, Brave Paw immediately shuts down and asks Watch Eye if they could just please continue walking to the training grounds. Sea Strength, to shut. sea Strength takes them both out to see a big octopus on patrol spot in one of Piper Clint's rock pools. Sweet Paw watches the massive creature. The tides had washed in with wide eyes, tail twitching with excitement. Sea Strength tries to point out the hooked beak as the octopus lazily waves a tentacle over so temptingly, just under the water's surface. Dust Wars suggest this might be a good chance to practice new fighting techniques with Beluga Paw. Both cats have a nice practice session, swapping their best tips and tricks with each other. Pool Paw and Dark Chase Dark Chase suggests this might be a good chance to practice new fighting techniques with Pool Paw. Dark Chase, Dark Chase takes charge and coordinates exercises for the duo. They practice how to weave around an opponent, feeling more and more confident in their teamwork. The warrior praises how quickly Pool Paw picks it up, and the apprentice comes back the camp fluffed up with pride. Dark Chase, if you keep talking him up like this, then Pool Paw is going to be like, I don't know, I forgot what the word is, but you're getting, they're, you're giving them a big head, basically. Now, Rat Paw and Honor Wiz. Honor Wiz takes them both out to see a big octopus and troll spot in one of Piper Clan's rock pools. Honor Wish tries to point out the hooked beak as the octopus lazily waves a tentacle ever, ever so temptingly just under the surface of the water. Rathpaw flinches backwards as the creature suddenly lunges after a little fish. Once it disappeared, it suddenly scary beak. Into the suddenly scary beak, the octopus goes back swaying like harmless kelp. As Dark Trail pads through Piper Clan's territory, they feel a presence join them. The connection wavers, and as quickly as the feeling of company appears, it vanishes. As the patrol arrives at a beach, they spot two legs in their kids. Oh, okay, so like baby, like child two legs. Uh, lounging around a brightly colored pelt of some kind. 
and smell food scent. Well, I've only got two cats on this patrol, so... And one of them's the leader, so I feel like this is a bad idea. Do not proceed. Flarestone's festering wounds seem to have gotten a bit better. Flarestone is relieved to find the phantom pain gone. Thank God, Flarestone needed a break. Key Strength brought a litter of two kits back to camp, but refused to talk about their origins. Okay, Sea Strength. Let me see. Okay, was born outside the clan, but came to live with their parents at a young age. So, normally would say half clan if they came from another clan. However, it says outsider roots, so that means Sea Strength had a relationship with a rogue. Or like a kitty pet or something. But, uh, yeah, these are Sea Strength kits, apparently. We got... Okay, I'm changing this one. Because antler kit doesn't make sense. But they're male and they're sweet. I'll have to look at my kit names and choose one from there. Jumble kit snuggles up to the belly. Yeah, they're both going to snuggle up to the belly since they're newborns. Female, short bird, they're bouncy. I don't know if I'll change jumble kit. Let me look at my kit names real quick. Okay, let me go back to you. I can do rock kit for you. Uh, I can do hollow kit. I think I'll do or plain kit. You're male, so I think I'll do hollow kit. No, wait, but that makes sense. Yeah, I'll do hollow kit for you. Okay, hollow kit. And I'll keep jumble kit, because that's a fine enough name. Hunter would suggest this might be a good chance to practice new hunting techniques with Ratpaw. Both cats have a nice practice session, with Ratpaw soaking up all Honor with his best tips and tricks. Poolpaw and Dark Chase. Poolpaw is not acting like their usual self. Dark Chase guides Poolpaw to their favorite place and asks them what's wrong. Poolpaw whispers that they feel like a failure, and that they're not doing good enough. Dark Chase gently tugs them closer and tells them that they're not just their failures. Failure hurts, that's true, but we can learn so much from them. All they can do is go out there and ensure that they won't make the same mistake twice. Poolpaw looks at Dark Chase with shiny eyes and cuddles even closer. Dustsore takes them both out to see a big octopus. I'm tired of reading the octopus bit, but uh, this one looks slightly different. Dustor points out the dangers of the creature, explaining how some Piper Clan stories tell of a dark forest cat who tried to escape into the ocean, only to be cursed by Star Clan and to becoming a monster, with legs sprouting from each claw. As Belugapaw watches the octopus contort itself more liquid than animal, they can see how it could be a sea cat. That's the first time I've seen that. Didn't know there was such a lore in this clan. Sea Strength takes them both out to see a big octopus and patrol spot in one of Piper Clan's rock pools. Shuipaw watches the massive creature. The tides have washed in with wide eyes, tail twitching with excitement. Sea Strength tries to point out the hook beat. Yeah, I'm tired of reading the octopus things. At least the other one was new. Can we just train these cats, please? 
Watch that it takes brave Paul out of camp to gather moss. Okay. That's a new thing for training your apprentice. Watch I notice his brave paw distracted face, taking a more paw jaunt approach. They show brave paw the strength they've gained from gathering the moss and the control they learned from not shredding it. Brave paw seems awed and inspired. Moss was gathered during this patrol. See, this patrol was useful. More marigold, marigold would be useful, particularly with green leaf and foliage swing. The season will bring the marigold to bloom, and the flowers are just as useful as the leaves to dark trail. An extremely easy to spot from a distance. Dark trail is distracted and it affects their work. Dark trail is unsuccessful. Now Star suggests this might be a good chance for the cats uh, to practice new hunting techniques. Bright Gleam takes charge and coordinates. Okay, the leader doesn't even take charge. Bright Gleam, okay. Bright Gleam takes charge and coordinates exercises for the training pool patrol. Soon cats are practicing their stalking on each other, sharing tips about different terrain types, and discussing prey selection. I mean, you are 117 moons, Mouse Star. Mouse Star recently called the clan meeting and forgot what to say. You always forget what to say. Why are you even our leader? Glare Stone is assigning cats to the hunting patrol. Dark Trail is checking up on the warriors. Light Soul wants to get to know why she better. I'm still sick, apparently. I still have that runny nose, guys. I still have it. What does this do? What is... Oh, can I make other cats... This is new. I've never seen this before, because I've never actually played with the meteor during this game before. Okay, let me see what I'm looking at here. Who dislikes each other? Like, a lot. Okay, I'm looking for someone that really dislikes Blair Stone for some reason. Oh, I can also sabotage people. I guess there can be evil mediators, but I'm not evil. Okay, wait. Does everyone like Bright Gleam? I'm changing this cat. <laughs> We're doing random. Perfect. Blair Stone and White Sea. Did I just increase the romantic thing by accident? Okay. Well, I didn't know I could do that too. Watch out is sparring with some clanmates. Bright Gleam as the apprentice is very engaged in a very, very tall tale. Honor with the eavesdropping on Sweet Paw. Sea Strength tries to get a, set a good example for the younger cats. Dark Chase is eavesdropping on Brave Paw. Dustor is talking with friends about recent celebrations. Rat Paw is staring off into space. Brave Paw decides to stare at their mentor without blinking. Good job, Brave Paw. Way to freak out, Watch Eye. Poopaw is watching and learning from Bright Gleam. Sweetpaw is rethinking their life choices. I mean, you could become a medicine cat like your mom. Belugapaw is dreading their apprentice duties. YC is telling a rather tall tale to any cat who will listen. Hollow okay, yeah, these cats are still young.
Like he'll travel with the Hegel clan to resolve some recent border disputes, however, no progress was made. Well, I tried my best. At least my cold is gone, guys! It finally happened. Dark Trail finally cured me. Let's see how long it'll last this time. Okay. Let's train you guys up. Does sort that suggest this might be a good chance to practice some more fighting techniques with Beluga Paw? Unfortunately, no one steps up to teach. It makes everything feel awkward and a waste of time, and the cats give up and return to camp a little irritated. Watch how I suggest this might be a good chance to practice new hunting techniques with Brave Paw. Watch I takes charge and coordinates exercises for the duo. They practice taking down prey together, their confidence in their team hunting growing. The warrior praises how quickly Brave Paw picks it up, and the apprentice comes back to camp with their fur fluffed up with pride. She strength tries to Sea Strength takes them both out to see a big octopus spotted in one of Piper Twin's rock pools. I'm tired of reading about octopuses, guys. Why is it only octopuses? Sweet Paw refuses to believe that an octopus could fit into that tiny crevice, and Sea Strength points out and starts an argument about it. An argument I might have to resolve. As the patrol gathers together to train under Dark Chase's leadership, Cool Paw admits they had a vision from Star Clan last night. Patrol talks to them about whether it was a real vision as they train. Rat Paw is tempted to eat the prey they just caught after all. Oh wait, oh uh, no, I accidentally sent Rat Paw by themselves on a patrol, not with their mentor Honorwish. Honorwish would be ashamed if he did that, <laughs> Rat Paw. Rat Paw is tempted to eat prey they just caught after all. They're only practicing hunting, right? So, this is theirs. It doesn't count as a true hunting patrol. Ugh. They eat the prey without anyone noticing and return to camp thrilled with their little trains rushing. Honor wish would be so ashamed. Of you. Dark Trail goes out with a warrior escort, both for their safety as they look to take advantage of the green leaf growing season and for carrying capacity so they find anything. So basically Honor Wish is basically just <laughs> a pack mule for you right now. Surprisingly, Honor Wish actually starts up a conversation with them about herbs they're looking for. Dark Trail launches into the usual spiel, but even more astonishingly, Honor Wish is actually interested, and it makes their heart feel lighter getting to share their knowledge and skills with someone who respects them. Goldenrod and elder, elder Leaves were gathered during this patrol. Your patrol catches, catches the scent of a fox, but is it red or gray? And is it worth the fight if they encounter it? Proceed! They're a small patrol, but a skilled one. When they track down the red fox at the end of the scent trail, they have enough skill and muscle to drive it off from the fist it was gnawing on. Cats gather around the prey, congratulating each other. So this is Hollow Kit. Hollow Kit is crying after roughhousing so hard with the older cats. Jumble Kit tries to sneak out of camp. Mouse Star is thinking about battle strategies. Flarestone is in awe of Mouse Star's leadership. Dark Trail is in the medicine den doing their stuff. Light Soul is eavesdropping on Sweet Paw. Watch eyes eavesdropping on Beluga Paw. What's with everyone eavesdropping in this plan? Bright Gleam tries to set a good example for younger cats. Honor Wish wants to know Dark Trail better. Sea Strength wonders how Hollow Kid is doing. Dark Chase is wondering if Brave Paw will be chosen for the next gathering. Dust Sore is purring gently. Rat Paw wants to go on a patrol with Beluga Paw. Brave Paw is eavesdropping on Sweet Paw. Pool Paw got caught trying to sneak out of camp without a warrior. Sweet Paw is dreaming of someday making their clan proud. Blue Paw is thinking about the time they caught a huge rabbit. Why she almost choked on their prey. Who am I going to mediate today, guys? Who will I mediate? 
No, wait. I should just remove, remove, random, random. No, they barely know each other. Why is it the same ones? That doesn't work. Okay. No apprentices. No apprentices. No apprentices. Stop doing- Okay. Well, I can't do this one because they do- They do like- There's no dislike between them. There's no, Do any of these cats dislike each other? Let me look. Honor wish, do you dislike anyone? Okay, you dislike your former apprentice. Okay. Well, that, that in a little bit beluga pot you also dislike. So that's about it. You like everyone else in this plan. Let's see, dark trail. Oh, okay. Dark Trail slightly dislikes me, apparently. What did I do, Dark Trail? Is it because I keep getting running noses? Why? Okay. Also, oh my god. You slightly dislike one of your own kids. <laughs> you slightly dislike Sweetpa. Only a little bit. You, you platonic like them a lot, but you a little bit dislike them at the same time. Well, you don't dislike any of your other kids. Only I can mediate me with other cats, because other cats don't seem to like me that much. Yeah, I can't mediate me in here. Let me see, who does Blairstone not like? Hmm. Bright Gleam, what about you? This is a very good clan from what I'm seeing. Because nobody really dislikes anyone, and if they do, it's not even that much to be worth mentioning. I must be a very good mediator, guys. Well, I've got to mediate someone, because I want to do my mediate role. Let's do Flare Stone and Dark Chase. Trust increase, respect increase, jealousy decrease, dislike decrease. So now they don't dislike each other at all. And this time it looks like it didn't give them any romantic feelings. I don't know why the other time it gave them romantic feelings slightly towards each other. I don't know how long I'll make this stream, I guess, because I am starting to get tired, even though it's not that late, but just tired of talking into a microphone in my uncomfy chair. Whew. Anyway, I already mediated today, so I can't mediate again. Mouse stars think- oh, I already read these. Flare Stone got their paw stuck in two leg trap. Will 
and while they eventually escape, their leg is heavily injured. You already lost one leg from these. Are you going to lose your other leg as well, Flarestone? Flarestone can't get a break. It's like every other day, Dark Trail is saying, what was it this time? <laughs> Why she's running nose has finally stopped running. Let's see. Alistar wonders how Light Soul is doing. My best, buddy. I'm doing my best. Flarestone wonders who will give them nine lives. Dude, that's if you make it to being leader. With the way you're going, you're already 107 moons. You're been, you have a permanent condition where you've injured your leg and you're only three. And then you injured one of your other good legs. You're always getting hurt. I don't know how this is going to last. You're going to lose all your lives, even if you get them. Dark Trail is teaching kids about what plants to stay away from. Light Soul feels exhausted from their clanmates bickering. <laughs> Watch how he's napping. Bright Gleam, Bright Gleam winked playfully at a clanmate from across the clearing. Honor always tries to set a good example for younger cats. Sea Strength is helping to escort the medicine cat to gather herbs. Dark Chase is heading to the dirt place, which is basically where they go, number two. Dustor wishes others reciprocated their kindness more often. Rapa had a very strange dream. Braypa is watching and learning from Honor Wish. Quilpa is dreaming of someday making the clan proud. Sweet Pa is feeling cramped in the apprentice's den. That's because you have so many siblings, Sweet Pa. Blue Kapa successfully lightened a dreary, dreary mood while training. YC is assisting with camp cleanup. Hollow Kid is hoping YC will tell them a new story. Jumble Kid is asking older cats how kids are born. I don't think you're ready for that, Jumble Kid. You're way too young. You're like two moons. So you're two days old. And you already want to know that. <laughs> Ooh. Let's see. Oh yeah, I was going to mediate. So I need to see. Wait. Where are you, dust or Who do you display? Because obviously you think people don't get your kindness. Okay, so I think the problem is Bright Gleam with you. So, Dustor and Bright Gleam, I need to mediate between. And then Bright Gleam. So, they still dislike each other. But, uh, Platonic like increased, respect increased, and jealousy decreased at least. So I'm going to need to go back to them. Where is C strength? Yellow flowers poke out from the new from the leaf litter signaling that the dandelions have given up on growing for the season. Dark Trail heads out to look for them, bringing a group of their clanmates along for the gather for a gathering patrol. It's a successful gathering mission with Dark Trail striding back to camp with a great haul of whole intact dandelion plants. Later, they sort the leaves and roots to be stored separately. The leaves remain fresh for a far shorter time, but for now, they make sure to thank the warriors that have helped them bring home so many. A sword takes the again with the octopuses. I've already read that one. No one needs to hear me repeating about octopuses. Dark Chase th suggests this might be a good chance to practice new hunting techniques with Cool Paw. Dark Chase takes charge and coordinates exercises for the duo. They practice taking down prey together, their confidence in their team hunting growing. 
So the warrior praises how quickly Poolpaw picks it up, and the prince comes back fur fluffed up with pride. Yeah, from how many times you've done that, Dark Chase, they're gonna get such a big head. One of which suggests this might be a good chance to practice new hunting pictures with Ratpaw. Both cats have a nice practice session, with Ratpaw soaking up all honor with his best tips and tricks. Watch Eye takes Braypaw out of camp to gather moss. Watch Eye patiently shows Braypaw the best place to gather moss. They show them how to gather it and explain to Braypaw that by doing this, they will gain the muscles and strength necessary to be a great warrior. Mouse Star gets taken aside by Breakthrough as they ask why they feel like Starkling and ignores them. It is easy to wonder why Starkling places their paws on some cats and not others. Breakthrough is comforted to know Mouse Star feels that too sometimes, and they end up spending the afternoon discussing it together, both cats feeling validated and reassured. At least no one's died yet. Like, we're 18 moons in. Let's show went missing for a few days. Where did I go? <laughs> what was I doing? Well, okay. Well, you know how I said at least no one's died yet? Well, someone died. Why she wandered out into the territory and was later found dead. A peaceful expression on their face. <laughs> At least that was the elder. Mouse Star stands above the clam. <laughs> above the clam. Mouse Star stands above the clan and proclaims that Sweet Paw shall be known as Sweet Splash, honoring their energy. Dust Shore sits in the crowd. Chest puffed out in pride as they watch Beluga Paw be named Beluga Fang. Oh my god, that's such a cool name. I love that name, Beluga Fang. And honored for their intelligence. They consider themselves lucky to have been able to train such an amazing young cat and look forward to seeing the warrior they became. I mean, they become. The past moon, YC has taken their place in Starkland. Hyperclan mourns their loss, and their clanmates will miss the spot they took up in their lives. Moments of their life are shared in stories around the circle of mourners, as those that were closest to them take their take them to their final resting place. Starkland. There's YC. Is surprised to find themselves walking among the stars at Silverfell. Yeah, sorry. Uh, you're dead. You were 162 moons. Uh, you were pretty old. I gotta mediate between those other two again. Respect increased, romantic int interest increased, trust increased, platonic like increased, comfort increased, jealousy decreased. Dust Shore still dislikes you, though. <laughs> I need to work on that still. But at least Breitling doesn't dislike him anymore. I mean her. I forgot. Dust Shore is trans female. Outstar almost lost a life recently. How do you still have nine lives? Blairstone is a bit cross with Hollow Kit. Dark Trail whistles they had an extra set of paws. Light Soul mediated a meeting between senior warriors and the leader over recent clan decisions. What senior warrior? The dead one? Oh wait, no, they said senior warrior, not elder. Watch Eyes worried about Hollow Kit. Bright Gleam is a bit cross with Hollow Kit. What did Hollow Kit do? Onowis tries to set a good example for younger cats. She's strength is feeling down. 
Dark Chase wonders how Honorus is doing. Dust Sword purrs all night, so full of love for their fellow warriors. Sweet Splash sees dropping on Dark Chase. Again, you're a moon or <laughs> too early to be an apprentice. I mean, to be a warrior. Beluga Fang, again, you're also a moon too young to be a warrior, really. You're not old enough. Beluga Fang is helping to escort the medicine cat to gather herbs. Aw, they're escorting their mom. They're like, look at me, I'm a warrior now. I'm gonna escort you, mom. Okay, Ratpaw's still an apprentice, at least. Ratpaw wonders how Hollow Kid is doing. What is up with Hollow Kid today? Braypaw wants to become a fierce warrior someday. Poolpaw is trying to recruit the other apprentices, which is the, some of their siblings that are still in the apprentice den, for a quick adventure. Hollow Kid is pretending to be the medicine cat. Jumbo Kid is pawing at Dark Chase's tail from behind them. Well, once they become warriors, they gain their second trait. So, Sweet Splash will also sometimes their first trait changes too. So, Sp Sweet Splash is now charismatic and a good hunter. The influence of their mentor sea strength causes this cat to become more outgoing. That's why. Beluga Fang. So, they're now wise and a fantastic teacher. The influence of their mentor Dustor causes this cat to become more be benevolent. That's why I was training them with just their mentors for a bit. It gives them more experience and, you know. Dark Chase suggests this might be a good chance to practice new fighting techniques with Cool Paw. Dark Chase takes charge and coordinates exercises for the duo. They practice how to weave around an opponent, feeling more and more confident in their teamwork. The warrior praises how quickly Poolpaw picks it up, and the apprentice comes back to camp, fur fluffed up with pride. How many times are you going to do this to them, Dark Chase? <laughs> Honor would suggest this might be a good chance to practice teamwork with Ratpaw, the troublemaker. Both cats have a nice practice session, and their coordination with each other grows stronger. Honor would really helps Ratpaw gain confidence working with other cats. Brave Paw and Watch Eye. Watch Eye just wants to basically train, like finish their training already of being a mentor so that they can retire because they're at the age where they should have already been retired. Brave Paw is not acting like their usual self. Watch Eye gently asks them what's wrong, and Brave Paw breaks down crying that they're not go doing good enough even though they're really trying. Oh, is this because uh, some of your siblings uh, were made warriors early and you're still an apprentice? Aw. Even though they're really trying. Watch I pulls them into a hug, purring softly. They tell Braypaw a story of their own apprentice days. Now they also made a lot of mistakes. Braypaw looks up disbelievingly. Watch I chuckle is at the look on their face and promises them that nobody but themselves will remember these mistakes. These two don't even need to go with their mentors anymore. They're just prepared. <laughs> yep, that's... Mouse Star now looks like this because they're basically old. They're an elder. God, I haven't seen Flarestone on here forever. Is Flarestone just going to be a, a, the deputy in the medicine cat den forever? Oh. Let's see, who should I send? Well, I need to do the medicine cat. As the Bethany plants start to dr dramatically give up on life, as the leaf fall progresses, Dark Leaf takes the opportunity to go harvest from them. Bethany is especially useful for cats who breathe with a rasp, and Dark Trail is always keen to hunt, keen to help clanmates with the condition, with, yeah, clanmates with the condition. With the Great Hall of Bethany, Dark Trail brings back They'll be able to dose their clanmates and prevent coughs and chest infections. But he was gathered during this patrol. Yeah, no kidding. What's this? Mouse takes the patrol down to the beach to train. But wait, something's odd here. There is no way Bright Gleam is staying around here. 
They tear off back to camp at the sight of a broken ginger cat statue. Okay, that was weird. I've never seen that before. As if the injury wasn't bad enough, the skin around Flairstone's mangled leg has started to swell and feel feverish. <laughs> Poor Flairstone! They can't catch a break. Flairstone cannot catch any breaks whatsoever. Ratpaw slipped on some rocks as they twisted their paw. Their mom's probably like, I have enough cats to take care of. Why weren't you more careful in my kids? Piper Clan welcomes Poolheart as a new warrior honoring their intelligence. Beluga Fang has realized that Sea Cat doesn't describe how they feel anymore. Ah, oh, I wonder what gender they are now. Let's see. Beluga Fang. Ah, oh, Beluga Fang is now trans male. Now that they're actually old enough to be warriors, they're, they look more like warriors. Sweet Splash, charismatic good hunter. Beluga Fang, wise, fantastic teacher. Poolheart is loyal and a fantastic teacher. Okay, you're 12 moons, but you're still an apprentice. Uh, okay. Rat Paw got, uh, held behind. <laughs> they're, they're a full-grown warrior, but they're still an apprentice, guys. They're, uh, they're going at their own pace. It's okay, Rat Paw. Oh, and Brave Paw, too. Okay, you're not the only one. Mouse Star woke up on the wrong side of the nest. Flarestone was recently caught humming to themselves. Dark Trail is thinking about taking on a new apprentice. Light Soul is upset at a recent negotiation with a rival clan. Well, sorry, but I forgot. I need to mediate something. I really want to get rid of all the dislikes between clan mates, because that's my job. I like how I'm the sneaky mediator. <laughs> Can't seem to get rid of the dislike that Dustor has for Brightly. Platonic like increased, respect increased, jealousy decreased. Maybe I should just give up on those two. Watch out is sparring with some clan mates. Brightgleam has the apprentices very engaged in a very, very tall tale. Honor was sparring with some clan mates. Sea Strength is sparring with some clan mates. Dark Chase wants to get to know Dustor better. Dustor wants to get to know Dark Chase better. Sweet Splash is purring warmly. Beluga Fang is eavesdropping on Sweet Splash. Poolheart is eavesdropping on Dark Trail. Ratpaw wonders how Hollow Kid is doing. Brave fell into the nearby creek yesterday. He's still feeling damp. Hollow Kid is asking the older cats about how kittens are made. Jumble Kid is hiding from the other cats. Watch I has to wait more longer for Brave Paw to become an, a war, full of warrior so that they can retire. They're like, no, I was so close. Brave Paw is not acting like the usual self. Watch I gently ask them what's wrong and Brave, Brave Paw breaks down crying that they're not doing good enough even though they're really trying. Now I feel bad for what I said before about them. I'm so sorry, Brave Paw. Watch I push them into a hug, purring softly. They tell Brave Paw a story of their own apprentice days and how they also made a lot of mistakes. Brave Paw looks up disbelievingly. Watch I chuckle at the look on their face and promises them that nobody but themselves will remember these mistakes. Where's our other one? Okay, Rat Paw's in the medicine den. Yellow flowers poke out from the leaf litter, signaling that Dandelion's haven't given up on growing for the season. It's a successful gathering mission with Dark Trail striding back to camp with a great haul of whole intact dandelion plants. Later, they sort the leaves and roots to be stored separately. The leaves remain fresh for a far shorter time. As the patrol passes the sand between the waves and some rock pools, 
They find him one of the oddest things any of them ever see. Huge octopus on land, clearly trying to head for the ocean. The cats watch the roiling, uncoordinated, twisting mass of limbs, completely rooted out. Dark Chase darts in to try and catch it, but one long tentacle almost lazily smacks them back. Even on land, this octopus seems too big to tackle. Whoa, okay, what's happening here? The patrol quickly de okay, devolves into ghost stories, leaving everyone on edge. Despite the tense mood, the patrol is successful and the afternoon wears on the cats and the afternoon wears on. The cats relax with each other. Okay, sorry. I've just never seen this artwork for this before. It's actually kinda cool. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. Uh Bright Gleam and Honor Wish have become mates, guys. They've become mates. Our first mates by themselves. <laughs> Honor was also slipped on some rocks and their legs was dislocated. Okay, oh, Rat Paw finally became a warrior. Piper Clan welcomes Rat Dusk as a new warrior, honoring their energy. As the clan cheers for the new warrior, Brave Glare. Oh my god, I like that name. Brave Glare. Brave Glare. Dark Trail purrs loudly. Their kid is finally a warrior. A new journey has begun for Brave, Gla Brave Glare. And Dark Trail knows that Brave Glare's dedication will lead them through anything. The medicine den nests have been refreshed with new moss from the herb stores. Okay, so they're all warriors now. When do you guys become apprentices? Okay, one moon. Mouse Star wonders how Jumbo Kid is doing. Flare Stone is craving the taste of River Rabbit. Dark Trail wants to get to know Sweet Splash better. Light Soul is picking the burrs from their pelt. Watch Eye is encouraging the deputy to be more harsh. Bright Gleam is hoping Mouse Star notices their improvement. Honor Wish wants to get to know Rat Paw better. Sea Strength is eavesdropping on Sweet Splash. Dark Chase notices that their clanmates have been nervous around them lately. Dustor is purring gently. Sweet Splash is sparring with some clanmates. Beluga Fang wants to speak to Light Soul about something. Oh, what do you want to tell me? Sorry. What are your relationships with others? Do you dislike anybody? Is that why you're getting me? Okay. So, Dust Store and Dark Chase. Well, I'll look at that, and I'll be right back with you with that. Coolheart is sparring with some clan mates. Rat Dusk is sparring with some clan mates. You're still in the Medicine Cat Den. What are you injured with again? Oh, you're just sprained. Okay. Brave Glare is eating some fresh kill. Hollow Kid is asking older cats if kittens were made. Jumbo Kid is whining for milk. Real quick, let's see, um... Let's see. Okay, so Rat Dusk is strange and a great speaker. Yeah, Honor Wish didn't really affect this cat's mental shift. So it's like, yeah, this cat's mentor was Honor Wish, that's it. <laughs> and then Brave Glare is insecure and a great fighter. Now, who was the cat that wanted to talk to me? Okay, Beluga Fang. I guess I'm mediating something with Beluga Fang. Let's do it with Dark Chase. Okay. Yeah, I think I got it. But I unfortunately now gave them the romantic relations. Like, I got <laughs> I'm not trying to do this, guys. I'm just mediating here, I swear. Respect increased, comfort increased, romantic interest increased, dislike decreased, jealousy decreased. Okay. While searching for some specific herbs, Dark Trail is started by weird sounds and whispers on the wind. Proceed. The sounds die away and then start up again in strange, unpredictable intervals. Investigating Dark Trail suddenly find themselves nose to nose with a, with a panting, bleeding queen. 
one desperately trying to keep their newborn litter quiet. Dark Trail brings the queen back to camp where the clan can assist. Whiskersnip has joined the clan. Seagull Kit has joined the clan. Dark Kit has joined the clan. The clan's reputation towards outsiders has improved. We already have two Darks. I might change Dark Kit's name to Dust Kit, honestly. Either Dust Kit or Sage Kit. Normally when I play this game, I never change the name of the cats. But because I'm doing this one based off of the like my work thing, like I said, that's the only reason why I'm changing it. If I ever played this game again, I wouldn't actually change any of the names. Because I kind of like to just see how it goes. Whew, well, I've already been playing this game for 2 hours and 25 minutes. Huh. Well, I'm planning to stop at the 3 hour mark, I think. I don't know if I'll change her name or not, though, Whiskersnip. Dark Chase suggests this might be a good chance for the cats to practice new fighting techniques. Dark Chase takes charge and coordinates exercise for the training patrol. Soon cats are practicing trip, uh, trips, ticks, and tumbles. As the patrol is marking the borderlines, a gang of rogues stalks out of the beach grass to, conf to confront the clan cats. Uh, I hate to do this since two of you are like just newly made apprentices, but because none of you have a good fighting back, it looks like. But this is the job of a clan to protect their territory, so proceed. No! That's a very, very bad outcome. I'm so sorry, Dark Trail. One of your kids just died. Poolheart is dead. Mouse Star, I'm not that sad about. It's still sad, but they weren't really one of the main cats. Uh, they lost all their lives, so Flare Stone's now Flare Star, I guess, even though they're still <laughs> injured in the medicine cat den. I wonder who Flare Stone will pick as their deputy. Cat list. Oh yeah, the new cats. Seagull Kit meows quietly for milk. They're male and they're noisy. They got medium fur length. Dark Kit, female, short furred, impulsive. Let's see, history. Was born outside the clan, but came to live with in the clan with their parents at a young age. So these are like outsiders. They were like a rogue. My allergies are acting up. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Ooh. Anyway, uh, so I gotta promote you to leader, even though you're still the medicine cat then. Promote to leader. Flare star. I never thought you'd make it to this, buddy. So let's see their leader ceremony. Flare Star's leadership ceremony. Flare Stone leaves to speak with Star Clan, even though they're still injured. 
They close their eyes and are immediately surrounded by their loved ones, friends and clanmates who have passed on. Stars shine throughout their pelts, and their eyes are warm as they greet the new leader. A queen introduces themselves as Rush Kick. They softly touch their nose to Flairstone's head, giving them a life for empathy. Coolheart walks up to Flairstone next. <laughs> you just died, Coolheart. <laughs> Offering a life for certainty. They smile and state that the clan will do well under Flairstone's leadership. Cherry Kid introduces themselves and bounds up to the new leader, reaching up on their hind legs to give them a new life for adventure. Wolverine Claw, that's a cool name. Wolverine Claw states that states their name and steps forward to give Flairstone a life for sympathy. Mantis Paw, an unfamiliar apprentice, stretches up to give a life for happiness. Their eyes glimmer as they wish Flairstone well and step back to the next cat. Honestly, he deserves a life of happiness after all he's been through. Wise she strides forward, an energy in their step that wasn't present in their last moments. They give a life for persistence. Hi, Wise she, good to see you again. Down Tooth, an unknown warrior, gives a life for mercy. They sh the cat turns around to take their place back in Starkland, leaving room for the next cat to give a life. The next cat is not familiar. They smell of cat mint and other herbs, and have a noble look to them. The cat tells Flairstone that their name is Hay Hollow. They offer a life for patience. Finally, Mouse Star steps forward. Yeah, they just died. <laughs> there, there is pride in their gaze as they stare into Flairstone's eyes. They give a life for loyalty through their clan. Mouse Star hails Flairstone by their new name, Flairstar, telling them that their old life is no more. They are granted guardianship over Piper Clan and are told to use their new power wisely. The group of starry cats yowl, Flairstone's name and support. Flairstone wakes up feeling a new strength within their body and knows they are now ready to lead the clan. I think next stream I do, it's going to be something where I have to talk less. Because I don't know why. I, oh yeah, now I do know why. Since I'm such an introvert, talking so much makes me tired. <laughs> Their stone is, taste, is craving the taste of rabbit. Dark Trail wants to get to know Sweet Splash better. But, oh, I already read these. I forgot. And then before I do anything, I am going to change. Because there's just too many darks in this clan. I'm sorry. But do I want to do Dusk or Sade? I think, I think since you got some white, I'll do Sade. Personal change name. Shade kit. Hugo kit can stay though. That makes sense. And let me see about their mom. If I have any good cat names for them. Apparently, they're cold and smart. So, I don't actually have any good names for them. I have names, but none that would actually really fit them. So, I'll keep that name for now. Flairstone's infection is finally gone, guys. He did it. I think it's because he got, he got his new lives. Rat dust is recovered from their, sp from their sprain. Sweet Splash finds poppies while on a walk and decides to keep them. As their mentor is about to be chosen, Hollipaw interrupts and announces that they want their mentor to be Dark Chase. They stride forward with confidence and dark to touch noses with Dark Chase when it's allowed. Okay, so Hollipaw is like, no, I will not accept anyone but Dark Chase as my mentor. As Jumblepaw touches noses with Sweet Splash, they hope they'll get to do something that will really impress the clan on their first day. Maybe they could catch a big fat rabbit or chase off a fox. That'll show the clan that they're the best apprentice anyone's ever seen. Dark Trail flushes gently with Pull Heart's fur, hiding the evidence of what killed them. They want to remember them as they were in life, not like this. Dark Trail is barely able to move their body, fatigue threatening to consume them. Once night falls, they desperately will Pull Heart's name. Their movements frantic as they struggle. 
No, no, refu no, refuse to accept their death. Well, that was one of their kid kids. It was their child. Brightly in Wales as they see the, the body of Malstar still and cold and clearing. They sit vigil that night as grief fills their heart. The world seems dim and lifeless. Brightly and keeps close to their clan, seeking out their comfort and company. The past moon, Poolheart and Malstar have taken their place in Starkland. Hyperclean mourns their loss, and their clanmates will miss them, miss where they had been in their lives. Moments of their lives are shared in stories around the circle of mourners, as those that were closest to them take them to their final resting place. As the herb stores are inspected by the medicine cat, it's noticed that all of the elder leaves went bad and will have to be replaced with new ones. <laughs> um, I don't know if that was the smartest choice, Flare Star, but okay. Flare Star chooses Sweet Splash to take over as deputy. Sweet Splash, the very, very new apprentice. I mean, very, very new warrior. They just became a warrior. We have all these other cats that could do a good job in the clan. And you chose Sweet Splash. Okay, Flare Stone. Let's see, Hollow Paw is now confident, and Jumble Paw is vengeful, apparently, and it mentors Sweet Splash. Let me see how Sweet Splash. They're charismatic. Maybe they talked Flare Stone into it. I mean, Flare Star into it. They're very, they're like too young to be a deputy. Flare Star is napping. And they're still in the medicine cat then. Switch Blast is eavesdropping on Seagull Cat. Dark Trail realizes what an omen might mean. Light Soul is eavesdropping on Dark Chase. Watch Eye is feeling nervous. Bright Gleam was roped into playing Moss Ball with the kids. Honor wishes basking in the sun. Sea Strength, sea strength is eavesdropping on Brave Glare. Dark Chase is sparring with some clan mates. Whisper, Whisker Snip is sparring with some clan mates. Dustor is a bit cross with Jumble Cat. Beluga Fang has a suggestion for the clan leader. Rat Dust wants to change their name to be like a kitty pet. What? You want to be a kitty pet? That's the first I've heard of that. Brave Glare thinks about all the mistakes they've made. Hollow Paw fell into the nearby creek yesterday and he's still feeling damp. Jumble Paw is daydreaming about having a mating kid someday. Seagull Kid is pestering older cats to play with them. Shade Kid is stuck in a tree. Again. <laughs> I didn't add that in. That's what it says there. <laughs> Jumbo Paw is not acting like their usual self. Sweet Splash decides to ask Jumbo Paw if there's something they can help them with or if they want to talk about it. Fortunately, Jumble Paw immediately shuts down and asks Sweet Splash if they could just please continue walking to the training grounds. Dark Chase takes them both out to see a big again with octopuses. Oh, this looks new. Hollow Paw maintains that octopuses are prey, not opponents or weird transformed dead cats or anything like that. Just prey, and Dark Chase can't get them to take the training session seriously. Who to send on patrol? Oh, I feel like I'm going to regret this. Okay, I sent them out in a to a blaze in the death fly to get home. The prey must be hiding. The patrol cat is nothing. Okay, great. As a snowstorm descends and visibility drops, the patrol retreats to a sea cave. Their pelts and tails and legs all tightly wrapped into one indistinguishable kitty ball. Still, when the camp returns, Brave Glare is cold and chilled. Aw, Brave, <laughs> Brave Glare is shivering. Poor Brave Glare. The 
patrol check at the border. Pirate clan found their trail. Your patrol decided to follow Sam, but only end up walking in circles. Your dead train says it's good at concealing your trail, but your patrol just needs to work on their tracking skills. It doesn't matter now, the whole day is getting wasted. Sea Strength decides they should just return to camp and report the strange scent. Relations with Partridge Clan have worsened. Great, because we definitely need a war right now, guys. I'm just making sure these guys don't fade away, really. Who am I going to mediate today? Who do you dislike? You kind of dislike Watcha. You dislike me, apparently. Oh, that's because I keep doing that instead of... Let me try something. Call upon Dark Face. I guess I'm mediating these two. I'm eavesdropping on Dark Face. I hear about it, and I'm like, I need to mediate between these two. I gotta go. I gotta do my job. Okay. Trust increase, respect increase, jealousy decrease, dislike decreased. That's great. Okay, I did my job. Their twisted limb frustrates them constantly. Flairstall tells themselves it could have been worse, and that at least they're still there to feel irritated by it. Honor which has recovered from the dislocated joint. Rat disc okay, um well Dark Trail. Uh your uh one of your one of your kids is uh well I guess they're like kind of an adult now, like a very, very young adult, but um they have kids. They're expecting kids, they're pregnant. It's rat dusk. Rat just announced they were expecting kits. They decided to move into the nursery in preparation for their soon-to-come kits. Flarestone's finally out of the medicine pen, guys. Look on the artwork, you kind of see the missing one. Flarestone is finding the responsibility of leadership to be quite the heavy burden. Sweet Flash wants to get to know Flare Star better. Dark Trail wants to spend time alone today. Light Soul is worried others are judging them for being the mediator. Watch Eyes feeling excited. Bright Gleam wonders how Shade Kid is doing. Honor Wish is pondering their earlier ancestors and the protections they grant the clan. Sea Strength thinks they are the fiercest spider in the clan. Dark Chase tries to set a good example for younger cats. Whisker Snip wants to get to know Dark Chase better. Dust Sword purrs all night, so full of love for their fellow warriors. Beluga Fang somehow got roped up in watching Seagull Kit for the day. Rat Dust wants to get to know Hollow Paw better. Brave Glare wonders how Dark Chase is doing. Hollow Paw practices their newest battle moves. Jumble Paw is heading to the dirt place. Seagull Kid is a bit cross with Shade Kid. Oh no. What'd your sibling do? Shade Kid is regretting eating the bug that they caught. <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to only be eating milk right now. You're such a baby. You're just a baby. Anyway, Flare Stark. Flare Star, yes, I got it right that time, cannot be a patrol alone. He needs to be, like, in a group of five other cats. 
for his protection. Jumblepaw's not actually like the usual self. Okay, so does Jumblepaw finally tell them what's wrong? Sweet Splash gently asks them what's wrong, and Jumblepaw breaks down crying that they're not doing good enough, even though they're really trying. Sweet Splash pulls them into a hug, purring softly. They tell Jumblepaw a story of their own apprentice days and how they also made a lot of mistakes. Jumblepaw looks at them disbelievingly. Sweet Splash chuckles at the look on their faces and promises them that nobody but themselves will remember these mistakes. Dark Chase suggests this might be a good chance to practice new hunting techniques with Hollowpaw. Dark Chase takes charge and coordinates exercises for the duo. They practice how to bring down prey together, the confidence in each other growing. I forgot these two are mates now. <laughs> Beluga Fang finds a wounded cat near the Thunderpath to proceed. As Beluga Fang expects the cat, they find that they are already hunting with their ancestors. They take a moment to say, for, uh, to say a prayer for the cat and then bury them. Their clan's reputation towards outsiders has remained neutral. What we really need is another medicine cat in this clan. Because Dark Trail can't handle this many cats alone. Oh, that's a cute little image of a rabbit they have there. Dustsaur spots a rabbit up ahead, but seems to be acting strange. But Troll sees it tremor a few lights away. I know what this means. Do not proceed. <laughs> it's got rabies, guys. Flare Stone has got in the runny nose. <laughs> Rat Dust thinks they'll have a large litter. Brave Glare's shivers have died down. Holopath has gotten green cough. Whiskersnip finally feels back to normal after the strain of birthing litter. Shade Kid is jumping around on the rocks when they slip and fall. The soft sand of the cave floor softens their landing, but they're still sporting some new bruises. Sweet Splash suggests this might be a good chance to practice new fighting techniques with Jumble Paw. Both cats have a nice practice session, with Jumblepaw soaking up all Sweet Splash's best tips and tricks. Wait. There we go. Why does it say unavailable when you are available? That's confusing. Your patrol catches the scent of a red fox, tracking it, they find the animal feeding on a shark that the wakes of wash ashore in the night. Um, I've never seen or heard of this. this can this situation even actually happen? A fox eating a dead shark carcass? I have never heard of this happening before. In, like, the game or real life. But again, they did just update this game, so... Uh, what happens if we proceed? Brave Glare shows their strength, leading the fight against the fox. By working together and keeping it distracted, the cats hurry and harass the fox until Brave Glare lands a critical blow, snapping a tendon in one of the fox's hind legs. The fox runs, but there's no way to live with such a crippling injury. Beluga Fang, wanted, <laughs> Beluga Fang finding another cat wounded by the Thunderpath. The patrol approaches the injured cat and sees signs of life. Alarmed, they gently pick up the cat and takes them back to the ca to camp to be treated by the medicine cat, Dark Trail. The grateful cat decides to join the camp clan. Song Spots has joined the clan. The clan's reputation towards outsiders has improved. Where is Song Spots? Oh, there you are. 
Oh, you're vengeful. Okay. Blair Stone is counting how many lives they have left. It's still mine, buddy. And why are you always, like, have something going on? Now you're sick. Sweet Splash is sending cats to a border patrol. Dark Trail chased kids out of their den. Light Soul is eavesdropping on Sweet Splash. Ooh, am I seeing if Sweet Splash needs anybody? Who do you dislike? You don't dislike anybody. <laughs> Why am I eavesdropping on you? <laughs> Watch I wants to be chosen as the new deputy. Is that why you're still a warrior and won't just retire? Because, uh, you're not gonna make it, buddy. You got a long way to go. Sweet Splash is so much younger than you. You're gonna retire. You're gonna give in before. Unless, like, something happens, like they die or something. Soundspot's looking around the camp with wonder. Brightly and feels happy knowing that there's someone others can talk to. Honor was just sparring with some clan mates. Sea strength is basking in the sun. Dark Chase is eavesdropping on Flare Star. Whisker Snip is sparring with some clan mates. Dust Sore had a nightmare involving the Russian River nearby. Beluga Fang has been coming up with complicated riddles for fun. Rat Dust is hoping Sweet Splash assigns them to the next patrol. Brave Blair hopes they will make it through Leaf Bear. Hollow Kit thinks they are going crazy. Jumble Paw is eavesdropping on Hollow Paw. Sequel Kit is hiding from other cats. Sid Kit is asking how other kits are born. Save. It's almost time for me to end this screen. Got, like... Eight more minutes. Flare Star brings himself to the medicine. Cat Tan concerned. The running gnomes always always seem to be getting worse. That's that's great. It's a poor Flare Stone. Flare Star sinks their claws into a branch, hoping that ripping something up will at least distract them from the sparking pain coming from their leg they don't even have anymore. Oh, Flare Stone can never, ever catch a break, ever. Sorry, Flare Star now. No one knows who Rat does cat their litter of four kids with, but they seem very happy watching over their little offspring in the nursery. Sid Kid's bruises have disappeared. Some spots can smell the infection from their back and feels the fever coming over them. They send you feels less and less survivable with the, the day. Oh, yeah, wait. Oh. Oh, here. Why did you name one of your kids Shivering Kid? Well, who are the parents? At Rat Dusk and Unknown. Okay, outside of Root, so. Sibring Kit was born into the clan, but one of their parents is an outsider that belongs to no clans. So, it was probably a, most likely a rogue then. So, Sibring Kit, female, Sortford, Bouncy. Flint Kit, female, Sortford, Sweet. Sign Kit, male, Longford, Inquisitive. Evening kit. This is gonna be evening ass guys. Male sort for daydreamer. Flare Star wonders how Beluga Fang is doing. Sweet Splash is staring off into space. Dark Trail wants to get to know Bright Gleam better. Light Soul is eavesdropping on Dark Chase. Watch Eyes Trivia with Taste of Mouse. Song Spots tries to set a good example for younger cats. Bright Gleam is sharpening their claws. Honorwis tries to set a good example for younger cats. Sea Strength offers tips to every cat in the clan. Dark Chase is craving the taste of frog. Whisker Snip doesn't want to go on a patrol with Jumble Ball. Okay, well, I found who I am doing real quick. Whisker Snip and Jumble Paw, apparently. You guys feel nothing towards each other. What do you mean? 
There's nothing for me to mediate there. Where was I? Does your wishes others reciprocated their kindness more often? Well, who are you? Oh yeah, you just dislike Bright Gleam, but I've tried that and that's failed with you. Let's uh, try Beluga Fang then. I keep doing that, but that's the wrong button. Okay. Respect increased, romantic interest increased, jealousy decreased, dislike increased. Okay. Beluga Fang solves your problem by thinking back to another time the exact same thing happened. Rat Dusk is basking in the sun. Brave Glare wonders how Rat Dusk is doing. Yeah, they, your sibling did just give birth. Hollow Paw is thinking about the time they caught a huge rabbit. You've been in the medicine cap den for so long. What are you talking about? Jumbo Paw is asking Dark Chase questions about warrior life. What we really need is someone to just be a medicine cat apprentice. Please, anybody. Seagull Kid is asking older cats how kids are born. Also, please give me an apprentice too. Uh, I need to not be the only one mediating all these things. Shade Kid is regretting eating the bug that they caught. Shivering Kid, yeah, so all these are just going to say snuggling up to the belly of their parents. Sweet Blast suggests this might be a good chance to practice teamwork with Jumble Paw. Both cats have a nice practice session, and their coordination with each other grows stronger. Sweet Splash really helps Jumble Paw gain confidence working with other cats. Bright Gleam spies a fat <laughs> rabbit on the other side of Partridge Clan. Please, for the love of everything that is a mediator, don't, <laughs> don't do this to me. Don't make me go back to Purchase Clan. If you guys wanted to hunt a rabbit there, tempting opportunity to be served. Please don't. But it may not be wise to hunt on a different clan's territory. You think? Do not proceed. Your patrol decides that one rabbit isn't worth making enemy. No, your patrol only sat decided that because Light Soul would have yelled at you. As the patrol is checking the borders lines, they notice that Tall Clan Sun has strayed into their territory. Proceed. After poking around a bit, your patrol discovers a Tall Clan apprentice wandering nearby, hopelessly lost. The apprentice is distraught upon discovering that they're on the wrong side of the border, and while Honor Wish understands it was an honest mistake, they still lecture the apprentice on the importance of respecting border lines. And relations with Tall Clan have improved. This might be just like on 26 moon where I end it. Time has taken its toll and watch eyes notice themselves slowing down. They have worked timelessly for many moons, but it's time for them to retire. Do you think? Jumble Paw was practicing their hunting taunts when they pounced right into a rock. Ow. They might be sore for a while. Whisker Snip announced that they are expecting kids and will be moving to the Nasuka set. Didn't you already have kids? And also, didn't you just get into this clan? Who are you already having relationships with? I'm... Okay, maybe I will make the stream a bit longer just to find this out. Because I'm, I'm not curious. Sweet Splash suggests this might be a good chance to practice new hunting techniques with Jumble Paw. Unfortunately, no one steps up to teach. It makes everything feel awkward and a waste of time, and the cats give up and return to camp a little irritated. Your patrol has a disagreement and looks to see strength to settle the dispute. Shouldn't you be talking to the mediator about that, actually? But I guess you're on patrol, so I'm not there right now. She strength listens to both sides and it makes a careful judgment. Keeps no one happy. The mark of an excellent compromise. Blue 
Beluga Fang is tempted to eat prey that gets caught. They resist the temptation, going on to make a couple of great catches to make sure the elders are fed. Good for you, Beluga Fang. Doing what's right. Flare Star is craving the taste of mouse. Sweet Splash wonders how Dust Shore is doing. Dark Trail is helping organize the herb stores. Light Soul is craving the taste of frog. Song Spots is eavesdropping on Shade Kit. Bright Gleam tries to set a good example for younger cats. Honor Wish is wondering if Mouse Star approves from Star Clan. Sea Strength is growing fond of Shade Kit. Dark Chase is worried about Seagull Kit. Whisker Snip wonders how Beluga Fang is doing. It's like, do you like anyone romantically in the clan? Is this like an outside relationship you would catch? Like, oh, so you kind of like Beluga Fang. Huh, I didn't know that. No wonder you're wondering how Beluga Fang is doing. Dustor is heading to the dirt place. Beluga Fang is feeling unappreciated. What do you mean? Your uh, secret lover appreciates you. But uh, we'll have to look and see if there's anybody you dislike. Nope, I can't help you with anything. You don't dislike anyone. Rod is watching over the kits. Brave Glare was scared by an owl last night and is too embarrassed to tell anybody. <laughs> well, now we all know, Brave Glare. Holopod is heading to the dirt place. You've been in the medicine cabin forever. What's wrong with you right now? You've been sick for three moons. You're just sick. Oh, you're also infectious, so you can get other people sick. That's why you're stuck here. Jumbo Paw is thinking about how awful kitty pet food must taste. Watch out is craving the taste of mouse. Seagull Kit whines about being hungry. Shade Kit plays moss ball by themselves. Shivering Kit is pretending to be the clan leader. Flint Kit wishes other cats would stop babying them. Shine Kit is pestering older cats to play with them. Evening Kit is a bit cross with Seagull Kit. Oh, I really like Evening Kit's design. It's really cool. I like how their eye color is heather blue. Hey, I haven't checked the Star Clan cats in a while. Mouse Star can feel some cat forgetting them. Pool Heart is admiring the stars in their fur. Why is he is admiring, is admiring Star Clan territory? So not much going on there. Cause Pool Bark it always says the same thing. And then I still gotta mediate for someone today who's like having a bad day. Oh, uh, what about Brave Glare? Let me see. You dislike anyone, Brave Glare? Rat Dusk, apparently. Let me try to mediate between you and Rat Dusk. We're, there it is. Sorry, I'm getting really tired. But I'm going to stick it out to see who the secret kit was. If it's really Beluga Thing or not. Hmm. There's Rat Dusk. Come on, brain, think. Okay, brave glare. Mediate. Respect increased. Comfort increased. Trust increased. Dislike decreased. Jealousy decreased. Okay, that's great. But it looks like we'll need one more session with you, brave glare. Why am I craving the taste of frog? Flare Star's white cough is gone, finally. Can Flare Star stop getting sick, please? This is not going to last long at this point. Bright Gleam tells himself that they can't let these feelings consume them. Instead, they have to live with it. Dark Trail wakes up one day after moons of numbness and feels as though the world is less dull. Holopaw is no longer coughing and sputtering. Their case of green cough now cured. That's good. Jumbo Paw's bruises have healed. Whisker Snip thinks they'll have a large litter. They decide to move into the nursery in preparation for their soon-to-come kids. Surprising, Honor Wish, the first thing that Seagullpaw asks to do once the meeting ends 
is gather moss so everyone has fresh bedding. <laughs> Whisker Snip is watching with pride as Shade Pot is named and given to Dust Sore to apprentice under. They know Dust Sore was a good choice. So I'm guessing that Honor with the Sequel Paw was given to Honor Wish, and the Sequel Paw first thing he wants to do after the ceremony is gather moss because he's like, everyone needs fresh bedding. They need the good bedding. And Honor was just like, I wasn't expecting that. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> also, let me tell you a story. I'm sorry. I got like the like his actual lore keeper thing. That's what he was supposed to be, a lore keeper. It's like, also, let me tell you a story. And let me have Light Soul reenact it <laughs> and dust and dust sword. Cat list. Flare Star wants to get to know Whiskersnip better. Sweet Splash is assessing the apprentices. Dark Trail is thinking about taking on a new apprentice. You've never had an apprentice, and apparently no one wants to be a medicine cat. Just like how no one wants to be a mediator with me. Oh, yesterday I was craving the taste of frog? Well, now I'm craving the taste of shrew, it says. Song Spots wants to get to know Seagull Paw better. Bright Gleam is finding Jumble Paw annoying. Might have to mediate them. Let me see. Bright Gleam. Jumble Paw. No, they don't have any dislike to each other. They they respect each other, actually. Honor Witch says the apprentice is very engaged in a very, very tall tale. That makes sense for his character. He's the lore keeper. Keeper of the lore. Yeah, he's had a lot of apprentices. Sea Strength is worried about Seagull Cat. Dark Chase is having a good day. Whisker Snip doesn't say thank you when offered a piece of fresh kale. I think I'm going to do Whisker Snip in honor with. Why did the romantic interest get increased? <laughs> romantic interest increased, comfort increased, respect increased, dislike decreased, jealousy decreased. Dust or purrs all night so full of love for their fellow wars. Dude, when are you gonna get a mate at this point? Because that's all you ever do. <laughs> Beluga Fang is wishing Shivering Kit would play more quietly. Rat Dust is sparring with some clan mates. You're in the nursery, calm down. I mean, not nursery, never mind. Different cat. You're still recovering from giving birth, calm down. Brave Glare is talking to themselves. Holopod, quite the adventure today. Jumble Paw is acting angsty. Seagull Paw is asking Honor Wish about the warrior life. Shade Paw is licking their chest in embarrassment after being praised by their mentor. What permanent condition? Oh, I didn't see this. Apparently, Shade Paw was born without a tail. Well, you learn something new every day. Watch Eye has been sleeping a lot more as of late. Shivering Kid is pestering older cats to play with them. Blank Kit is asking the older cats about how kittens are made. Shine Kit is a bit cross with Evening Kit. Evening Kit doesn't want to grow up yet. Aww, poor Evening Kit. <laughs> I really want to... I want to get, like... I want to mediate between two kits, actually. That'd be, I think, pretty funny to me, at least. <sighs> anyway, I don't think I said... Really looked at Seagull Paw. Seagull Paw, yeah, that's Honor Wish, is their mentor. And they're charismatic now. And Shade Paw is responsible, and they have Dust Shore as their mentor. Sweet Splash suggests this might be a good chance to practice new hunting techniques with Jumble Paw. Unfortunately, no one steps up to teach. Jumble Paw looks disappointed. What was Sweet Splash expecting? For them to lead the training? Good point. 
Seagull Paw and Honor Wish. Honor Wish suggests this might be a good chance to practice new fighting techniques with Seagull Paw. Both cats have a nice practice session with Seagull Paw soaking up all Honor Wish's best tips and tricks. Honor Wish being like the number one mentor of this clan, apparently. Dust Sword suggests this might be a good chance to practice new fighting techniques with Shade Paw. Unfortunately, no one sucks up to teach again. Makes everyone feel awkward and a waste of time. The cats give up and return to camp a little irritated. Holopaw is not acting like their usual self. Dark Chase suggests Holopaw if there's something we can help them with or if they want to talk about it. Fortunately, Holopaw immediately shuts down and asks Dark Chase if they could just please continue walking to the training grounds. As Dark Trail pads through Piper Clan territory, they feel a presence join them. The connection wavers, and as quickly as the feeling of company appears, it vanishes. As the patrol is stuck in the borderline, they hear an odd sound coming from a patch on, from a patch of beach grass. Brightly and pads toward the grass to check out the noise when a rabbit, rabbit suddenly bursts out. Key strength is quick to react and manages to snag the rabbit before it can disappear. Now Star is contemplating their legacy. Since this is the afterlife. Foolhard is thinking about their ancient ancestors. Well, you know you could talk to them. You're in the same afterlife as them. Why is he knows that? <laughs> what? <laughs> What's this about? Uh, why is he knows what Honor was his secret is and wants to tell some cat? What secret does Honor was apparently have, guys? I'm so curious. Flare Star's missing limb no longer hurts. Light Soul travels to Primrose Clan to resolve some recent hunting disputes. Flare Star stands above the clan and claims that Holopaw shall be known as Hollow Nose, honoring their integrity. Whisker Snip secretly had a litter of two kits. What? Oh, Song Spots died of infected wound. Poor Song Spots. The past moon, Song Spots has taken their place in the clan. Piper Clan mourns their loss, and their clanmates will miss the spot they took up in their lives. Moments of their life are shared in stories around the circle of mourners, as those that were closest to them take them to their final resting place. Rawstar Star currently walking in the dreams of Bright Glam. Poolheart exploring Star Clan's hunting grounds. So, no, yeah, they're surprised to find themselves dead. Why she hopes Piper Clan won't forget them. <laughs> As the patrol gathers together to train under Dust Sword's leadership, Shadepaw admits they think they had a vision from Star Clan last night. No one can make sense of the vision, though. Honor Wish suggests this might be a good chance to practice new hunting, sorry, new fighting techniques with Seagull Paw. Unfortunately, no one steps up. No, the number one teacher here is not having the day where he wants to teach. Fortunately, no one steps up to teach. Seagull Paw looks disappointed. What was Honor Wish expecting? For them to leave the training? Jumble Paw is still an apprentice, despite being full grown now. Sweet Splash suggests this might be a good chance to practice teamwork with Jumble Paw. Fortunately, no one steps up to teach again. No wonder Jumble Paw is still an apprentice. Their mentor's not teaching them anymore. Flare Stone, sorry, Flare Star, why did you make this cat your deputy? Did he bribe you? What happened there? I think Flare Star made a bad decision. Oh. I really feel like Honor Wish honestly should have been the deputy. What was I doing again? Right, sorry, I'm getting really tired now. Wait, yeah, there we go. As they head out to gather cobwebs, Dark Trail thinks about the dream they had last night. Was it sent by Star Clan? Somehow cobwebs gathering cobweb gathering brings Dark Trail to an almost meditative state. 
Not only are they fairly confident of their next steps, having been given this vision, but they also bring back a good haul to the medicine den stocks. Cobwebs were gathered during this patrol. As the patrol passes a series of shallow rock pools, the small, small octopus trapped by the tide. The octopus sees the cats and vanishes into crevice. The flare star is about to lever it out with a thin strip of driftwood. The patrol approaches a two-legged nest, nest perched on the beachfront while hunting. Two-legged kids stomp through the sand dunes, scaring away prey and ruining the hunt. What's that doing? Right. Flare Star wants to get to know Bright Gleam better. Sweet Splash wonders how Shade Paw is doing. Dark Trail wonders how Shade Paw is doing. Light Soul is feeling unappreciated. I'm so sorry, Light Soul. You are my favorite. Obviously, for reasons. Bright Gleam is laughing with friends. Honor Wish had a nightmare involving the rushing of the river nearby. Sea Strength is sparring with some clanmates. Dark Chase is having a hard day. Whisker Snip is feeling quite lazy. Dust Sword is eavesdropping on Brave Glare. Beluga Fang is worried about Shivering Cat. Rat Dusk has the apprentices very engaged in a very, very tall tale. Brave Glare is craving the taste of rabbit. Hollow Nose is sparring with some clanmates. Jumbo Paw is spending a considerable amount of time grooming. Seagull Paw fell into the nearby creek yesterday and is still feeling damp. Shade Paw is licking their chest in embarrassment after being praised by their mentor again, apparently. Watch out, he's asking apprentices to help check them for ticks. Severian Kit is pawing out Light Soul's tail from behind. Um, is that why I'm feeling underappreciated? The kids are using me as a play toy now? Blink Kit is rolling around on the ground. Severian Kit is whimpering in their sleep. Evening Kit plays Moss Bob by themselves. Oh, here's some of the new kids. Oh, really? An unknown? Okay, really? You just got into our clan. I really want, like, some secret relationships going on. Like, in the clan. But instead, it's, like, all outside secret relationships. Krantz Kit was born into the clan, but one of their parents was out to another clan. Uh, they're male, longford, and sweet. Then there's rock kit. Male, shortbird, and insecure. Let's see. I want to kind of do like, dang, do the kids not like anybody? Okay. Shivering Kit just like Dark Trail. Flint Kit doesn't dislike anybody. Shine Kit dislikes Honor Wish and also dislikes Safe Paw. But uh, I wanted to do two between kids, but apparently all the kids like each other. But then again, they are siblings. I'll do it between Shine Kid and Shade Paw. Trust increase, respect increase, jealousy decrease, dislike decrease. Anyway, I think I'm going to call the stream here. Save. Thanks so much for coming, guys. I would say the new catchphrase I made for it, but I've already forgot what it was for the ending stream. I'll do it next time because I forgot to do my opening this time. So I don't really think it would matter that much. Also, no one's going to watch this anyways. Maybe like a family member out of pity. But it's fine. I didn't make it for views. Anyway, thanks for watching for whoever's watching. Thanks for sticking through with me to the end. I really do appreciate it. And uh, have a good day, guys. Bye.